Hey, what, what's good, people? It's, Yo, Stock, what's it's up? Stock Money and Bonk. We got another commentator battle. 
um, oh, on stream. Bugatti, Bugatti and Green Bean, though. I guess you'd categorize Green Bean as more of like the grinding commentator. Do they even fist bump? Green Bean's in the zone. Work oh, hard, shit. get strong. That's like some Falcon mentality shit. I'm Dude, about it. Um, so at the tournament that I ran on Sunday? Yes. Um, there what was, was that called? Bape? A babe. Babe. Yeah, I don't know why. I kept rap. thinking it was bathing ape, but that's dope. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, we had a Falcon on Robin. These guys played in it. I don't uh -huh. remember who won, but um, there were a lot of DQs in that I saw. But it yeah, looked, but it looked pretty fun. I mean, it's, it's literally a fun. bar tournament, like Falcon round Robin. That, like wasn't even the main event, right? Dude, the main event had like six to eight Falcon mains. It was a sixteen cap. That's wild. What are the odds that like every Falcon just like let's get it? Damn, Green Bean, Green Bean is uh getting it in. All right, so you, I you got to play for match. Right, yeah, go do the thing. That's hilarious. I grabbed stock to commentate, and I commentated on stock. <laughs> it's cool. See ya. Peace. All right, I guess I'll commentate until I play. I think PJ or something. Um, no, I don't know where PJ. Is. Anyways, I digress. Um, yeah, Green Bean took the first hog. I'm pretty good for uh, your man's blue guy to come in it though. I, I would imagine from a player matchup standpoint, this would be pretty even. Um. Just because, like, uh, these guys both have similar caliber. I'd say Green Bean slightly has, like, better wins, but, like, his last is kind of even with two out. We got to just always been kind of solid. He's, like, someone who, like, doesn't really take the game, like, that seriously. Hell, I don't even know if this dude's ever really officially had a main, to be quite real, if you ever than Ganon, but that was, like, way back in the day. Anyway, these guys are training. It's, it's kind of sloppy. I'm not going to front, but, um, yeah, I don't know if I've been called yet. I'm kind of bugging, but it's cool. I don't really care that much. Um, all right, yeah. I'm not really seeing tech chasing, but like the the thing is, at this level, like which I'd say this is like pretty deep, pretty like mid level New England right here. Um, like you're not really gonna see tech chasing. Like they're not really playing to win. They're just kind of spacing aerials, and then like um, the one real like tactic you'll see is that I think these guys' shield play is actually not bad. Like. You'll see a lot of times um, when players play against Falcon, like they'll shield in like dumb spots, and then um, just get like stupidly punished for it. But the thing is, the, I, I haven't seen one of these fuckers go for a grab once, to be honest. It's just like bears on shield, and that's just whack, bro. Like you get <laughs> you get by the bear, go far. You're like you're like I hope I'm gonna grab it, and then I don't. Um, yeah, I can actually just check my phone to see if I'm gonna play. I don't usually commentate before um, I'm out of bracket, but it's cool. Bon called me in a minute. So, yeah, Bugatti was kind of getting sun at the beginning of this game, and now he's looking high. Let's see if my man can clutch it, though. And Ariel the musical. Oh, my God, dude. I literally, If he ended that game with, Nair, with Nair knee, that literally would have been, like, just, like, the stupidest but, like, most fitting way for it to end at the same time. Um, one upcoming match. I doubt that. I actually doubt my match got called. Oh right, yeah, who won that game? Green Bean? I'm guessing. Okay, yeah, I haven't, I haven't been, call, I haven't been called to play yet. It's cool. All right, so yeah, let's see. Wow, that was that was a start, bro. That's a start, man. Dad's getting hyped, bro. Freak out. Stop freaking out, dude. You just lost to your dude on stream. <laughs> Playing. Um, I actually definitely only beaten you, dude, for the first time yesterday, but we'd only play two sets. What the fuck is you doing, bro? You, you styling, you better laugh your ass off for that. Because I don't know what in God's name you were thinking, but holy shit, if you went up, if you went up with that, you're a god, Josh. Josh, Josh is out here styling. I'm about it. Um, you know, Green be really on that work hard motto. This dude... This dude's just rinse and repeating. And Josh is like, man, I'm really getting hit by the same sequence over and over again. Because he really has, dude. Green Bean just like literally like nares around and throws stray moves. And then he's like, okay, I got him off stage. Here's my back air. And if you're in the wrong position, here's my knee. Oh, look, there it is. Literally, like I said it. Like, come on, dude. How quick you cutter can you get? But I mean, in a matchup like this, in the ditto, where it really do be like that, I guess I can't blame him. I don't know, it's just kind of whack to see, like, to just see him go up this quick. But at the same time, it's kind of like, get fucked. Like, you're you're throwing out moves faster, your space is better, and you almost just SD to zero, bro. Oh, my God. And that's the worst, too, when, like, you think Falcon's barely gonna, like, barely gonna not make it, and then he barely makes it with the up B, like, creeping up stage. Like, you think he's gonna get Battlefield. He's gonna bust that burly-ass head, though. That helmet's not really gonna, he ain't gonna get with that shit. That was a, that was a Bugatti bag, as you say. Uh, Johnny Cag's Bugatti bag.
game two. Um, but yeah, good showing from Green Bean, I guess. I guess. Look at the lunchbox, dude. This, guy, this Green Bean was honestly born in the wrong era, dude. He should have been born in the '80s, high key. But um, well, he, honestly, he, for all I know, Green Bean could be old enough to be born in 1989. You know what I meant? He should have been, you know, living in the '80s now. I don't give a fuck. Um, but yeah, we chilling to my next set. I don't know. We bout it. Um, yeah. What up? Yeah. What do you What do you mean? Yes. Yes. I mean, I'm just waiting for my next set, to be honest. But I got you. We got St. Nicholas coming on. Beep boop. Indeed. Boop boop. Oh, my goodness. These, uh, <clears throat> these headsets are always a little bit... Uh, a little bit too big for my very tiny head. Mm. See, you have the. You have They're the, perfect because I have a ginormous dome. You have a ginormous dome. I've noticed that uh, the the big brainedness of uh, New England seems to be a common theme. Um, I mean, Calvert complains to me a lot about not having, not finding hats big enough to contain that brain. <laughs> but uh, so it goes. I don't know. It works. Um, it works. No, but I feel like I feel like the hat's a big. Uh, it's a big buff for you because like. It contains. Uh, Honestly, I just wore. I, I wasn't even a hat guy till college, and then I was like, "Well, my hairline fucking sucks most of the time." Looks like so, the McDonald's logo. So like, let's just let's just like in scenarios where my hair ain't at that. Not that I think it's in a bad spot now, but because I also just kind of got into the mode of wearing hats. But it's just kind of like, I don't know, I just kind of rock with it, which is weird because my little brother got a hairline shorter than like my pinky, and he'd been wearing hats like from the from the jump. So I don't know. Um, all right, Johns. This dude, this guy seriously came out of fucking nowhere. Like, when Tom and I don't know who someone is at all, especially when they're from Massachusetts, and they just pull up and... And just do a number. A number of the fellas. Yeah, I just heard G-Town with the goddamn something. My dude is spazzing on him. <laughs> like, God bless him for going to everything, but my dude gets more stressed out about running a local than anyone in the entire world. It's wild. <laughs> or more like running like five locals. Yeah, yeah well, that, that's the thing. But yeah, like I was saying, Johns came out of nowhere and beat like future PJ, like a bunch of like decently mid level to like higher, like low high level New England players and got like took dude aside of game three, ended up losing to Insane and Psy. Um, but yeah, this guy's pretty decent. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's super cookie cutter. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I didn't really catch his his thing, but I'm assuming it's the. Yeah, no, like I'm one of those like net play Falcos that just like spaces it out because that's what he plays like at the end of the day. I don't really know his origin story, but I, as far as I know, last week was his first tournament ever, and getting ninth at your first new game plus. I mean, granted, this tournament this tournament is kind of free if I'm getting thirteenth every week. But, um, you know, Listen, it's, it's not bad. Really it's not bad because, like, especially if you're new, there's 64 people. Like, you, and in this era of Melee, you really can lose to anyone. I'm not going to front. Like, I lost to a Wave or Yoshi, like, way back in the day at uh, like, my first, like, Osaka. I mean, that's just me throwing in a, wow, ja a jab at how Osaka? anyone can lose. Wow. wow. You're real old school. Hmm. Nah. Real old school is uh, East End Grill. The food there was godlike. He, I honestly never thought a venue was going to have as good food as um, East End Grill, but then we came here. But the thing is, the food's really good here, but some of the names are cringy. I, I just realized today that one of the sandwiches here is called the Noob Grinder. What? Noob Grinder. Oh. Like, oh, we're edgy. We're venture capital esports cafes. Nah, I shouldn't be shit talking. No, this, this venue, this venue's fucking godlike. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Xanadu kind of has the same thing. I'm pretty sure it uh, found underground made a drink called Smash Juice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw some people sniffing on that while uh, clocking many hours on, uh, on the computers that they have there. And remember, that's all it's all paid for, not by Metro Capitals, but it's paid for by old men betting on horses. I know. What's the deal with that? Is that like actually the deal? Like, is that's there... the deal. Yeah, that's the deal. The the horse betting place they realize the horse races won't be around forever, and so they're like, you know what? Eventually, we're gonna move into esports. That's pretty dope, horses. honestly. So they want to be like the esports betting haven of uh, Maryland. I'm well on their way. I mean, yeah, Virginia's got, like, dumb heads for, like, well, MDVI has, like, a lot of people. Like, people high-key go to the cave, and I'm not trying to diss your region, but that tournament definitely has grand finals at 1 a.m. more often than it doesn't. Yeah, that's, okay, that's true. That's partly because, like... It's just kind of a vibe, though, I feel like. It is the vibe. Also, like, the cave doesn't have a stream. Dude, 
article. Now it does. No, I no. saw it. I okay, saw it this has, week. It has a stream at, like once in a blue moon. It had no. Like, I mean, Vince is willing to show up. More like more often than not recently, it, it's had a stream. But the past like months since I like got back. No, you're definitely right. It definitely it's so sad doesn't happen. It's a better look than it's No, for sure. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I get to like watch my boy oh, Juice Box. Yes. Juice yes. Box is sick, except when he plays Ice Climbers, but that's okay. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. That's okay. That matchup sucks. Um, Scooby so. is like. I really like your Scooby, but the end of there is just like that. that fair trade you know, I, I can't help but think he's a BDSM sheet, but at the same time, it's like he has semi decent results, like some wacky losses. I notice he does better against Spaces than he does against um, Floaties. That's weird. Like, he does abysmal against Puff. Um, Sheik versus Spaces is just <laughs> Yeah, sad. this guy this guy's a big uh He's a big tech chaser or slash spacing uh, Oh, sheep. oh, okay. So it's like and he has like the flow chart OD. He's he's been abusing back throw back air on Johns a lot. And I think this is the wow, first yeah. time I've I've been starting to see Johns actually like I almost he kinda had a comfort bracket, I'm not gonna hold you like last week, other than um, the Puff and Samus. Like, he beat, like, Falcos and, like, Foxes. Um, so I'm not surprised to see him... I'm not surprised to see him kind of struggling um, in this matchup. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to put my set, so I'll be back. All right, sick. Have fun. All right, Shreek, you left here with me. What a terrible fate you've had. Listen, more Sheik should be uh, working on their Zelda. Honestly, Zelda's not only like an incredible tool for your company, but also like if you if I can kind of jump up on that ledge and get that bear. Oh my god, you're cracked. You're, you're a god. Um, I can't see chat. So. And if you think I have Wi Fi on my phone in this venue, you're a fool. Anyway, I'm so glad to see you here from uh, MDBA for me. I'm going to a lot of the Differently lit 
than you see on stream. I've been watching NGP streams uh, for a moment now, probably for about like two months. This is, my, this is my first time actually seeing the venue in the flesh. It's much nicer than I anticipated. It's much less of like, a warehouse.
be a little more precise with those, but, you know, at the end of the day, we need to read. We can't all read minds. You know, when are psychics going to break into melee? That's my question. When are they gonna put down the tarot cards? Stops. Oh, wonderful stuff to put on his place. Really, like, kind of quelled the momentum. And sure enough, we're back in Puppet's favor again. There's a meter versus a snap of order. Puppet just kind of running, so trying to run circles around him, maybe trying to just, like, intimidate threats based on the materials. Oh, look at that cocky side me, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, people. It is, it is only for the truly arrogant amongst us. But honestly, I feel like, you know, after winning game one so cleanly, this, guy, this guy's a couple reasons here. I don't know, I feel like we have, or, I don't, I don't know who's here. I don't know who the Falco is. But whoever the Falco is, really, which means that's a little bit. I would assume it's true for him, but I honestly don't have a gun yet. Love little me. Okay. But seeing the way that BS reacted, I would, yeah, I would assume the true for is actually Falco. Um, you know, Grey Falcon, I'm actually very sure. I agree. I like that. I like that color coordination. Alright, Falcon trying. Really, really trying not to just get some stocks on the board, but get a game on the board too. Can he push this out? I don't know, but he's at a percent advantage, but... I mean, I don't know, he might be trying to go too hard. These dares are not getting the way he wants them to, but also Chifro. Don't like that tournament winner. I don't know if it's gonna lead to a tournament winner, but it's gonna lead to a game winner. It's about to lead to a game winner right now. Stock went. I don't think there should have been a game three. But you know what? Both players, both players got some, some, you know, some kind of cool stuff in their arsenal. I'm seeing some, some, some feisty mid-level play here. Uh, all right, no, I like advancing with the lasers. Falco's lasers. Oh my god, we're not talking enough about how absolutely busted Falco's lasers are. They just stifle someone's movement, and I'm like. When I'm like in the corner of Dash Dancing Machine, like trying to look cool, because like, I'm like, ooh, I can foxtrot. And they're like, you know what? I'm just gonna shoot over your entire being. You're going to wish you were never born. I was without the least of anything, but. Ugh. Okay. So, anyway, uh, curious to see how BS is going to be. Wow, that was almost a little bit closer to you there, but. Grab. Oh, cool. You did it very well. And it went to nothing because you didn't. You were like, you didn't commit enough, but like, for what reason? Very clean, very, very, very clean. Clean like Lindex, just, oh. All right, got a, lot, got a lot of rolls, got a lot of short hops. Short hops is something broken, it's kind of easy. Is it real? So good. Oh, wow, the side view finally works. It's right there. Hello. Hello, stream. Hi, dude. All right. Good to see you. This is game three. I don't know who's who. I've been guessing based BS on. Yes, it's the Falco. Yes, it's the Falco. Falco. Yes. All right. Awesome. Good to know I got three. Uh, game one was pretty clean on Jupiter's end. Uh, yes, I think turned turned up the notches a little bit. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure it was last stock, last hit. And now we're here. Yes, is uh, originally from Dominican Republic. Played a lot with Live Square RG. Uh, when... I can't hear you that well, by the way. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, BS is from the Dominican Republic, and he came here around the time of Patty's last mom for like a week or two with Liz Score RD. 
in a while. Goose Guard went back. BS has stayed in the area. Hasn't been coming to a whole lot of stuff, but he shows up every now and then. And he's, he's got a pretty solid Falco. We've seen some good solid shield treasure out of him. Preferring rolls out of like the aerials are really safe off and once you know the move with she gets the there to go. But, but you know, Falcon just does that. Yeah, solid D, poke the shield. That's the end of the set. Be careful about that mic because it keeps I think it keeps drifting away from your mouth somewhat like a ship lost at sea. These headsets are a little cumbersome, but they're quite cushy. Forrest, you're able to turn up my mic volume because any closer and it will just be touching my mouth. Microphone's like volume because it's basically touching my mouth and apparently it's too quiet. Huh? Forest. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Am I also fine or? You're good. Are you good? All right. Great. All right. I'm not wearing these because they're I'm pequeño and comfortable. So, and I don't need to hear game audio anyway. Although I can certainly help some of it to be able to. Go ahead and take a break. Who's next? I don't I don't know any of these fine fellows. We have Admiral Zhao Samus versus Bank Smart. Who's who? Bank is uh, the, the blonde on under All it's right. currently labeled Jufro. Okay. Um, Alright. Starting battlefield. Okay. Looks like a neutral start and there we go. Alright. Matchup, I think most of us has the fair, 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 yeah. You gotta space those fairs right, you crouch cancel down smash, and then you die. That's true, too. Yeah, I was playing, um, I was playing a Samus earlier. I didn't realize how, um, how gruesome the crouch cancel was. Oh, yeah, Samus probably has one of the best crouch cancels in the game. Makes sense. I was seeing, I've seen crouch cancels like 100. I was very Let's come back on for three. We get to wait a little longer before we can get a pro. That D stall, get air dodge back on. Oh my gosh. I, ledge. I, nice. I love that air dodge recovery. It always really stresses me out. I feel like a little bit of hypertension, but like, wow, it's so cool. That's Ooh, a, like, wow, nice. we need tech points. We're down. When you take it, that's not an easy spot to get out of. Yeah. Doing a bit, I think it could have been better. Well, especially in a battlefield. <laughs> so, a second ago, we saw Bank do a dash attack, but I believe he did it because the way that Zhao jumped made him look like he was trying to shoot a missile and Bank wanted to go under it. Hitting Samus with a dash attack, assuming they don't crouch cancel it, gets you a pretty big punish in low percent. It's one of Mark's better combo starters than Samus, I believe. Wow, there in the middle of the stage, up. classic. Yeah. I feel like every Marth who does that is really like, this is a really like unique like way to open up people in control. It's like no little like my best ass. By the way, nice shot. Wow, Marth's recovery, Mars recovery is still amazing. Uh, Rob Stone there was a good idea, but he did it a little not quite in the right timing. He died for it. Now knows he's charged with the charge shot, don't have to worry about it. Good shield poke, falls the platform. Down air, Tipper. Still alive to Samus. Samus doesn't die, which is why she's the best character in the game. That's a hot take. I know I don't agree with you. Uh, what would have been stronger there for that read would just be an up B rather than a weak up smash. Okay, I appreciate you going out there with the bear. It has failed him both times. The, I mean, it gets him back to save, so I guess it does its job. Yeah, that's good. No, not quite. No. He hasn't used his tether yet either, so yeah, he's got plenty of resources to remain in. Yeah. No, you yeah. talk about massive parts. Yeah, maths. Parts recovery, but uh, Samus has a lot of tools too. Shield post without the other shield. Good, good awareness. Bank could have tilted the shield a little better. In that oh, position. great awareness. Wow, we're down. Last up. Samus at the 
slight disadvantage. Stocks this up. Alright, kind of a desperation grab this. Alright. Yeah. Trying to toss him on the platform, but it's a little too high for that to actually proc the knockdown. Missed space of the tipper, but that wouldn't have killed anyways. Well, he's been a slightly better answer at opportunity, but he beat I, this the one. The FP did not hit at all, did it? Raw tipper up smash. Sometimes sometimes you just think they're going to stand still, and sometimes you're right. Alright, indeed. Survival. Thanks, Carly Denning. Thanks, Carly Denning. Dreamland, so we got a fountain. Ready? Neutral start again. All right. I think Fountain's the best stage for neutral starts just because you both just stand where the little water for the platform sprays out of. Yeah. All right. Wow. Nice. Already got him in a pretty bad position. Man. Bank would have. Yet again with the dare on the side stage. In that off stage situation, Bank would have been better off if he just waited a second before doing that up B so he could have snapped the ledge and then uh, he would have had. So Zhao in a position where you either have to pull in the tether early and zoom up above the stage, which is fairly easy to hit him back off from there. The cover, it's all about patience. Yeah. That was an odd combo off the throw. Yeah. Samus can definitely get better things than down throw double jab. That's a way to capitalize, and you get tippered for it. And for what, you know? Spot dodges too early, gets uh, reacts viscerally to that uh, that failing uh, I am uh, getting called, so I will get off. Okay. Goodbye, you actually have, to, you have to actually play. <laughs> right, see you later. Back to solo column two. I, I, I of course feel untethered as well. Champion, champion, avoid alone. That's a point. Sorry, I had the message to voice, but uh. Alright, I mean. Samus is living for a really long time. I thought that would happen there. That was some kind of ceiling mishap. But uh, alright. Here we go, missiles. They did nothing because they drag so slowly. Mart still at this massive disadvantage, but Bank's like, nah, I'm still moving. I'm still moving, and perhaps even grooving. But not if that, uh, not if that, uh, SMS is going to miss. Okay, I like the attack of the shield breaker, but wow, that just put him in such a terrible position. Okay, so he had the first game under his belt. Second? I don't know about the second. This is a really this is a really tall hill to climb. And you're not gonna climb it if you're just up smashing. But also like you are going to climb it if that up smash is getting punished by like a grab that doesn't hit. Okay, nice use of grapple. And like kind of get him off his back. Uh okay. Waste a shot. Alright, gets sliced. Oh, sorry, I forgot that it's like 14. We don't have these magic anymore. Um, there are at least people who have stuff with others to do that smash don't have smash games anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, more, more, more little shots, more tiny little charges. Baby tricks. Alright, yes, man. And that looks like a round. Another game three. How exciting. Like another game three. Where are they going? Where are they going? Let's see you. Found again. Alright. Another neutral start. Yeah, the bombs are definitely useful to kind of like get Bank off his trail. Um, the Bank's really working hard on juggling, trying as much as possible to get as much damage in. I like that. Yeah, that's like over 50%. Wait, no, that's like 40%. I can't do simple damage. Uh, fun fact. I definitely not the goal to talk to But I have the girl to talk to. Uh, 
about that tip that just happened. I want to tell you about it. It was great. It's a very cross tip. Like trying to approach all these aerials that are getting shielded, going for shield breaker. Wow, the last time you went for shield breaker, it was not that bad, so neither of those attempts have been good. Perhaps that's not even what they call it. Yeah. Um, Alright, both characters are sitting there, and good temper. That's a way to get really good on the kind of spot. And it's putting, it's putting Bank in a really, really excellent position going forward. Um, a full stock ahead. And of course, just trying to ruin it by down tilting and getting hit. And trying and like fishing for the fair, like, uh, make it kill, but, oh, why would you have made that early? Oh, my hands! Oh! Why would you, why would you do Marth like that? Oh, my goodness. But it's alright. He's got dash attacks, he's got juggles. Um, oh, Admiral John Proctor is sparkling with that charge thought. He is ready to just, uh, let it rip. Let it rip like a blade. But he needs to find his opportunity first, and in the meantime, he can just down smash. Wow, alright, honestly that was really beautifully done, great for stealing the ledge, too bad that it didn't work, I honestly could not tell you why it didn't work, I wasn't expecting Bank to just bounce and be done with the turn. Um, wow, Bank really showcasing all the things that make parts of recovery uh, absolutely incredible. Can we just pop it here? Alright, oh that was a cheeky little dare at the ledge, you can do that, but what will it get you? Oh, nice, great. No, we do indeed the items. We do indeed live. Alright. Uh, oh, perfectly, perfect up beat. Man, Bank is really physically getting into this match. Um, I mean, I mean it's Bank. Who doesn't want to win game three? It's the most important game. Alright, and again, I mean, that's recovering low. It's like, what can you do in this area? I don't know. Oh god, that misgrab made, probably made his heart sing. But we might take it. Alright, 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 alright. We need to get it. You know how to smash. But still, I mean, it's putting Zao in a bad position, so. Because it's the best. Alright, he's in a great position to juggle again. He gets clipped by a bomb. But, I mean, I'm not seeing John do like a lot of things. Like, really super contest him. I don't know what happened with that charge shot there, but it was definitely kind of a hillary last, last chance. Come to Jesus moment, if you will. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to think of every bullet that's going to Uh, wow, that get up is sad. And, all right, Bank and Jack. Yeah, yeah, it's good too. It's done so. Bank really, really wanted that. I am. It's I mean, great for him, you know? Great for him that he got it. I'm all about people getting what they want. Sorry, I just have to make a tweet telling everybody that I am on the mic. I'm at NGP. I'm here. Oh my gosh, Captain Smudger on stream. What is he even doing here? He's got the rollers. Alright, I'm 
gradually on on this set. Because um, he is. I also love his shirt. So I smash this was. Um, Alright, okay, so Bank, Bank looking pretty confident in this set, honestly. Uh, wow, great stuff. Um, you know, I have expectations, but they're not always going to be perfect. Also, you know, it's cool to see somebody who's just really confident in their platform. It's cool. I got her. Okay. Oh, wow. I love it. I love that extension. And like, even though it didn't get him to kill, I still netted him a lot of damage. Netted him some mental damage. Nice reverse there. Oh my goodness. Yes, I refuse to call fair with me because I do not believe that I just like the romanticization. Romanticization of the word me. Um, uh, okay. Oh, that was such a poor F smash. Or F smash. Relentlessly ruthless and punished, and, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm saying. But honestly, I mean, Bank's really holding so, you know, I'm talking to big game about some but, um, Bank is, you know, confident. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm actually I'm switching off. There, there are two. There are two fellows who are. Uh, yes, yes. These two fellows who are patiently waiting for me to hand them this mic, and I'm going to do so right now. Hello, Dad. Hello, Father. All right. Here. Uh, here. Hello, children. It's okay. Me. All right. Hi, Dad. Wait, Michael. Wait. Yeah. No. Mike, okay. Michael. Michael. That's the only reason I came over here. <laughs> I gave you this opportunity here. Okay. Well, this is Saint Nicholas signing off. And okay. Here's game two. Game one with the two stock. Oh my god. Hey guys. What do you think, Michael? What that was so pretty. We got I think paid. Josh just got eliminated. <laughs> What'd you say? I think Josh just got eliminated. We were waiting for him to go get candies. Oh, one of the things. Freaking a hole. That guy sucks. I lost to two bad people tonight. Same. Some idiot named your dude. <laughs> Some fucking moron. That's me. That's me. No, he's oh, cool. no. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Boris is He's like, who? He's creeping, dude. And, uh, some bad piece player. I don't know his tag. But all I know is he had my tag on because it was on there from when I was playing last. And you're like, what the fuck do you deal with this? Fuck that guy, dude. Can I tell you something? What's up? Every time we do anything involving chords together, you always, like, stomp on mine or your pants get caught on it. And I don't know what the fuck the deal is. It's like a wiener, dude. Stop. <laughs> it's pretty much. I'm Let's stuck on you. <laughs> um, Bank was 800 pounds. What? He his hair. He lost a lot of weight. Did he lose a lot of weight? Yeah. He looks good. He looks really good. I like good. his shirt. I really like it. I'm a fan. Uh, what the fuck Smuckers. is Peter doing? Fucking coming down from uh, New York, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Is He's that? sick. I love Calvin Smuckers. He's badass. He did a really cool combo with Royal Flush, and then I popped off. And, so you I went to Royal Flush? Yeah. Oh, shit. Sure. That's my. That's, uh, it was my first major and probably my favorite tournament I've ever been. That was so sick. You missed it. Uh, you got to up there and go down to it. And then get a new Go to the next Royal Flush. I'm not going outside of the state for this shitty game. It's fucking uh, New Jersey. It's not that far. It's Get a road trip. Wait, Royal Flush is the gambling now. Yes. Gamble. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. It's my favorite. Okay. I made blackjack money. <laughs> I really want to make money. I'm scared. Like, don't people just like usually go down? Yes. Okay. West see. Ball's made like like two thousand dollars. <laughs> so Jesus <what>? Christ. <laughs> I guess an idiot. And, and shroomed too. I think. It's fucking fun. Fuck. Hugo I lost like three thousand. Are you serious? <laughs> or something like that. I can't remember. It was like being at the same table and then everyone was just depressed. Do you see what's happening? Yeah. Let's uh, go, Bank. Bank is fucking kicking ass. Bank, Bank, Bank. Ooh, touch it. Hey. Bank is looking really <laughs> solid with this. Uh, this is the most I've ever talked about this game. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean. Well, on commentary. You like that, guys? Me, anyway, yeah. <laughs> I wish I could see the. Uh, I bet you like that. I could see the. Uh, what's this shit called? The it's chat. Over. What the fuck? Why is it missing so much? This marker sucks. Wash. Wash. Not <gasps> Wash. I think it's hit. Wash. No, just terrible edge guard. Right, he's, he's he might flub it because he's in the, like, the wind yeah. zone, which is... Just jump forward air. Oh, oh forward no. air, down air, down air. Yeah, I agree with you. Somehow made it back uh, to the like, oh. horrible melee. I like this. Look at my smash forward. Why did double jump? It worked. Get in there. Oh, that was really good. That was really smart. Oh, no way. Bank doesn't look too bad. Fuck this game, dude. I wonder if like competitive Peggle, dude. Look how happy Bank is. Isn't it Peggle? Are you kidding me, Bank? <laughs> he's too afraid. He's, he's choking. He's, 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 yeah, it's, it's over. Numbers. I can't believe he it. Chose. He fucked it up so bad. He choked. Choked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck.
fuck, that hurts. That makes me crazy. Get a, I get dry throat. You know? <laughs> you ever get a, get a, got a case bad of dry case throat? Of dry throat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they called me in high school. <laughs> a dry throat, dry, dry throat. throat. And they push me. Freddie gives the worst blowjob. <laughs> Sorry, keep on getting on okay, your shit. Okay, it's not your fault. It's, it's, you it's know, all my it's fault. The system. No, look, like this. this is why. Look. Oh, is it supposed to be like taped? Yeah, it's supposed to be This is fucked. Forrest, can we get the uh, us camera, please? She never gives us the us camera. And yeah, it is, fuck she, dude. She, if you're listening to this, dude, eat my ass. <laughs> eat my ass, you dang. Why don't we get banned from every big blue event? You'll never. Oh, that was a... I think I think Forrest doesn't know how to do it. Or maybe can he hear us? Forrest, give yes, me... Yes, he can. Forrest, give me a thumbs up if you can hear us. All right, that wasn't a thumbs up. It kind of snotted his head, but I'll take that. <laughs> That's not what he said, for Yeah, it's not what I said, for What the fuck, dude? <laughs> beg like a dog, Forrest. Yeah, Forrest, beg like a dog. Show, <laughs> me, your, show me your bussy, Forrest. <laughs> my, my clussy. Is that Calvar's uh, partner? Uh, that girl? Yes, oh, that was okay. Nicole. She's sweet. Okay. She's a sweetheart. Ooh, looking fucking good today, Freddy. <laughs> I look like shit. Look great. I'm, my name's not Kamel. Oh, I'm Kamar. <laughs> I sound like a Superman's parents. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're so Caucasian. I'm pretty white. When this I get tournament it, sucks, man. Yeah, I'm so mad, actually. Well, you never enter singles, Freddy, so I don't know what the fuck to What the you. fuck do you want, Green Bean? What is this? Your Stop. stupid fucking lunchbox. Hit the light, us. Green Bean. Jesus Christ, Bean. You call yourself a professional. <laughs> Look what you're doing to this shit. It's like fucking up. Do you see this? All right, where's Shidang? Stream, do you see this? We oh need Shidang. We need Shidang. Where did he go? Good. Where's Dad? Hey. Or not you, but. Hey, yeah, hey. Oh, does it stop doing it? Well, fuck it's off. Because he left. Yeah. He's like yeah, a, Green Bean's. He's like the glitch. <laughs> Green Bean's like the monster in PT. <laughs> I was about to say he's like a uh, <laughs> slender. I, was, oh. I wasn't gonna say PT. I was gonna say Wreck It Ralph. Instead, oh God. But <laughs> <laughs> is this shit? I think it's fine. Why is RL flexing with this 3M jacket? This is not good. That's not bank either. All right, Forrest. I'm going to blame this on Forrest. Forrest, fix this. I'm scared. What are we waiting for? Oh, Someone to fix up. it. I think Calvar's fixing it. Oh, I think he is. Thanks, Calvar. Wow, Calvar. He's flexing in front of his girl, too. Yeah, he's, he's like, looking at you know, him. Look she's like, oh, Calvar. I'm part of the... You're so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I love to kiss you He works at Best Buy. Does he really? I don't think so. Oh. He looks like somebody who works at Best Buy. Hey, what do you in need? In a good way. You want a DVD player? <laughs> Those are obsolete, aren't they? DVD ports? Yeah. Yeah. Blu ray exists. Okay. Didn't Best Buy have, like, recently, like, the last time to buy, like, CDs in store or something? I don't know. Like, they're getting rid of all CDs. CDs are sick, though. Are they? Kind of. <laughs> guess who collects uh, CDs? Hold on, let me guess. Out of all the people we know, who looks like they collect CDs? Yasu. No. That's so funny, though. Yasu they? looks like he collects CDs. <laughs> yeah, man. This is a this is a DMX classic. <laughs> <laughs> like this? <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> He went, this he went double platinum within two weeks. Uh, no, it's Ryan. Ryan oh my CDs. fucking god, Ryan. <laughs> Disgusting. Just because like fucking... What uh, are you idiots doing? Oh, they want the neutral game. start. Yasu, Yasu, Yasu. Nah, I want Ryan to win. I had such a big crush on Ryan. Do you? I first he's cute, playing. right? He's so handsome. Yeah. And he's nice. He's very he's nice. He's smart and he's good at melee. He's perfect. <laughs> Except for the fact he's engaged. Yeah. Hurts my heart. It's all right. I really want some Kane's chicken. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Are you actually going to Canes? I've never been. How is it? Are you fucking kidding good. me? Fuck this commentary bullshit. All right, we're going <laughs> to Canes with SBC. Oh, guys. I'll go. Why not? Sorry, Forrest, can you see chat? Forrest, can you bring chat you can up? see Forrest? chat. Okay, so guys, guess who's at this fucking tournament? We're his friends for Filippo. Uh, Filippo. Uh, A.K.A. Paul Slapper. Flippo, Flippo, Flippo. Paul Flippo. Flippo. is at this Flippo, tournament. Flippo, Flippo, Flippo. Flippo. Paul is at this tournament. Yes. Tiger got your tongue is at this tournament. Yeah. I don't know what he looks like. I don't know anything about him because his picture is a fucking compressed ass image <laughs> of a shitty fucking anime character <laughs> with the Make America Great Again. If I, Paul, listen, you piece of shit. If is he I the find, racist one? yeah, he's the racist. Oh, kid. nice. If I see you, you actually, know. let me not make threats. I think you're banned. I'm not gonna. Yeah, make I think there's, there's a limit to what we can kind of go. Paul, let me just say, I want to talk to you. He said some questionable things on Facebook. Yeah, he said some racist shit on Facebook. Yeah, that's well, straight to I'm going to go straight to the point. Jesse, Paul. Jesse's girl. Oh, idiots. Jesse's mad racist. By yeah, accident, though. It's all on purpose. Call me the N-word on Twitter. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think you can get... Sure, it was an am amiable uh, context, but... 
I feel like, you know, just plain, like, common sense would tell you, maybe that's not a good yeah, idea. Just, just maybe I shouldn't do, do that, you know? <laughs> but, you know, Jesse being the fucking idiot he is, you know. And it was a crew cut, so it kind of looks like a knee. Yeah, Nazi. he's, a, he's oh, I'm going to get him some suspenders and some docks. I'm not a fan of these new Nazis. <laughs> and you can quote me on that. <laughs> they suck at melee. <laughs> these bad people. They're just dumb, you know? But, Paul, I want to talk to you, man. Cool. I want to see what's going on in that little 15-year-old... He's wearing like a alt right brain Nickelode of Nickelodeon orange shirt today with his fucking. Ah, is he shit. really? Yeah. You yeah. know what he looks like. So you know what he looks yeah, like. Yeah, I've seen him. Oh, do you not know who he is? No. He's the one with like the. It's the, that little bitch over there. He's in the, with the mask. Yeah. Yo, yeah, you're a bitch. Oh, Paul. Jesus! No. <laughs> Suck my dick. I'll be here. No, 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 Freddy, come uh, down, no, Freddy. No, 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 he's <laughs> sick. Look at him. He's sick. He can't even breathe. You know how to breathe, you little bitch. Don't even know how to breathe right. Look at him with his aspirating and shit all over the place. What a moron. Fuck that guy, dude. <laughs> Disgusting. I think it's him, by the way. I just, oh, you don't know? <laughs> I mean, somebody you somebody don't know? told me, so I'm going to... Uh, we'll find out. We'll find, I'll find out personally. Let's go. Look, we'll be I'm going to go up to him. I'm going to be like, are you Paul? He's going to be like, yeah. <laughs> like, fuck you, man. I don't leave. He sounds like a uh, tiny Tim. <laughs> Fucking that one thing. Sounds like Timmy from South Park. Timmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> are you Paul? He's like, Timmy. Oh God, that's not ass. I want to meet people in real life that sound like cartoon characters. Like I want to so meet somebody who sounds like Miss Fowl. Oh God! <laughs> Jimmy oh, Carl! Oh Carl! That sounds really good. Actually. Kiss me, Carl! <laughs> Lick me! <laughs> oh Carl! Forrest hates this. Forrest is not having a good time. Forrest looks so mad right now. Uh, <coughs> RL just kind of beat up Yasu pretty bad. Oh, pretty bad, pretty expect? bad. Uh. This what kid? does LR mean? I don't know. Oh, it's his, it's his name. What's his name? His name's LR. Is it I mean, RL. RL. Oh, Did I say LR or RL? I meant RL. It says RL. 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 Because RL's his name, I think. That's Which stupid. Place. Yeah. That's dumb, RL. Yeah. I mean, his name's RL. I know. I have a crush on him. I love him. I follow <laughs> him on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> and in real life. Smooches. I, I hand him uh, Valentine's with the trains on him. I would definitely have, give him a Valentine's. Shout out to Gustav. Gustav. I'm not going to tell. He knows who that is. Okay. He knows what it is. Right. That's what it How do we go back? Art, what's the deal? What's up? Why did, why did Art go back here? Uh, he's stupid. All right. I don't know. He's determined, maybe. I guess he's determined. I'm so disappointed. Oh, one track line. That was sick. Too bad he's just fucking stupid. Yeah, he didn't. He just oh. Lost character. Let's go, Art. Art! Yasu. 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 That's a good one. Yeah, I know. I don't want to brag. Do you ever eat? Or eat? Do you ever drink Yahoo? No. Yahoo's gross. It's, it's actually Yahoo. Is it Yahoo? No, Yahoo. Yahoo's. Yeah, yeah. You, you, Yahoo is the search engine. Yeah, that I you. figured that out like a few years ago. That it's nice. Yahoo. Yahoo's gross. Yahoo could suck my ass. It's like fizzy chocolate milk. Is it really? That's pretty much what it is. No fucking it's way. It's fizzy chocolate milk. Are you dead ass? Like kind of. It's chat, not like super chat, fizzy. Confirm. But it's chat, like it's relatively it's fizzy. Chat confirm. Forrest, keep me updated. It's gross. It has like this I, tang to it too. Fuck no that. fucking way. Oh, stock is here. He's like, let me get on commentary, dude. Come on, man. Look at me. I love that, man. <laughs> oh man. Yes. <laughs> suck my dick, man. If I'm in your Discord. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's in my Discord. He is. I don't know how he got he stuck yeah. in there. Like, yeah, people just be in my like Discord. Like an immigrant. What's yeah. up? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to put you in a cage, stock. <laughs> for, yeah, man. For separate reasons. Yeah, for, for completely unrelated reasons. I'm going to put a collar on you and make you drink milk out of bowl. Yeah, dude. Fucking. <laughs> my king. <laughs> oh, Let's shit. Let's go, Art. It's popping off right now. He's wearing a jacket indoors. He's Fuck cold, man. Kick his ass. He's probably in school. Because of that cold heart he That's has. Fine. Art told me he was cold. Fuck and he hugged me. Man. Are you going to be saying shit? He doesn't. It's hilarious. I though. love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Thing, dude. He only like, speaks when necessary. <laughs> yeah. One thing I heard Art say at uh, Babe. Shout out to Babe. What was that? What did he said, um, he said, I love Dad. And I was like, wow. He said something else. Really? That was, funny too. That was good, too. That yeah, was I was like surprised. I was like, yeah, oh, all right. I thought you would hate me. <laughs> no. I just feel like you would. Art doesn't really hate people. That's good. I mean, I'm just glad it's healthy, funny. honestly. I wish I could be like that. Well, everybody goes through that phase where they don't know me and they're like, "Fuck this guy." And they know me. And like, I remember the first time we commentated guy. at the the church. Uh, I got on the mic and you're like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" <laughs> I'm like, "All right, this is a good start." That was my <laughs> gag at the church. It was. Just, <laughs> I'd be like, it's still your gag. He's like, guys, who the fuck is this guy coming <laughs> out to the commentary desk? <laughs> I can beat this guy. <laughs> Oh, you know, and nobody's ever seen you before. Yeah, no one so knows who I am. <laughs> <laughs> He's handsome, but like, I will beat all of that. Let's ass go. I think now. That was like the opposite of what happened last game. Oh, What's he doing here? I don't want to. 
I'm busy. He's da busy. Daddy's busy. I'm busy. I'm sorry. I love you. Kisses. Play catch later. We'll play catch later, son. I'm not going home, son. I'm going to Walgreens. I'm over it. The line is long. <laughs> I love Walgreens. <laughs> it's 18 years long. <laughs> See you on the line. flippity dip. I better get my shit for free. <laughs> Just scan it. I'm out. Go back home. I think I have some sort of respiratory issue. From uh, smoking, probably. Yeah, I stopped. Did you really? Because I'm scared. You, I don't want to die. I literally walked, I walked you to buy cigarettes like two days yeah, ago. Yeah, I stopped yesterday. Did I haven't you? had a cigarette you since, since that not, day. Not that day was... Yeah. Or whatever, but six bad, homie. Like, it hurts. It doesn't hurt. It's just like uncomfortable to breathe like deep no. breaths. I have the same thing except just with my diet. So my chest it feels like kind of Oh, you have sometimes. acid reflux. Yeah, it's probably, probably yeah. like most, yeah. yeah you sometimes you're like, like sitting playing fucking stupid video games and then my chest kind of like tightens up. I'm like, well, this sucks. I should eat more salads. I just don't want to die. No, me too. My mom would be pissed. I have too much to fucking live for. I don't, but I don't want my mom to beat my ass. You have people that, <laughs> you have people that care. I'm going to crump at your funeral, though. That'll be fresh. <laughs> my girlfriend would be so mad. That'd be epic, bro. Oh, my girlfriend's here, guys. Hype. Yeah, she's cool. Y'all thought I was a hoe? Any, any word to me. She, she doesn't she talk. Yeah, she's an artist. That's she cool. goes to RISD. Oh, does she really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you told me that. RISD's yeah. cool. I, I almost really. went to RISD. I love that so much. Mm -hmm. And you're going to mass art soon, right? Hopefully. Hopefully. hopefully yep. yeah. I hope to. An artist couple, huh? Yeah. Good luck with that we shit. Draw, we draw each other's genitals. Really? Yeah, that's how we get off. I'm super into it. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I'll be that's drawing her what boobs. gets me off. She draws yeah, my she dick. Try... They got to look like teardrops, <laughs> Freddy. She just has a really hard... down. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Sometimes we'll fuck around and do oil paintings. Oil paintings, huh? Yeah. It's crazy. Did you know, here's a story about Ryan Katowski that I'm sure he doesn't want me to share. Let's go. Uh, there's a girl on Tinder. Oh, ah, he's going to yell at me for this, but I'm telling her anyway. Oh, telling okay. her anyway. Um, he met a girl on Tinder who, uh, she, she hired Ryan to paint his dick. Did he? I don't know if he did it, but she was going to paint his dick. That's so And then fresh. he's like, maybe I can have sex with her afterwards or something. But that's pretty sweet. That's not what she wanted. No, no, I don't, honestly, she just wanted she's just going that far for the art. Maybe she's just like, oh, that's a stick. Oh, that was, what the fuck? Was it not? It looked like it. It did. That was weird. I never seen that do that. Interesting. Uh, maybe she wanted to paint it green. To pretend he was like the Hulk or something. Nah, she definitely wanted to paint it red. She was like, oh, you're a blue man? <laughs> she's like, oh, I heard about he you. Said, you oh, got yeah. the Donkey Kong dick. The DK like, dick. Yeah, baby. I was wearing it work today. I was, man, I'm, I'm going to say it differently. Uh, but I was at work, and okay. we have to wear ties at work. And this week they provided ties. And I was in like a, a black dress shirt, black pants, and I had this like fat red tie. And I was like, I feel like Donkey Kong. <laughs> it's pretty fresh. Yeah, and I, was like, like, and I started uh, doing monkey noises, and everyone's like, What the fuck is wrong with this? This kid's fucking stupid. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? Hey, they call the catering company, like, Yeah, you hired some workers. <laughs> Just won't stop making monkey noises at all the black people. It's really kind of fucked. It's fucked up. Just looks at all the black people. He goes, starts beating his chest <laughs> and running on his knuckles. <laughs> he's really good at it. But he ran into a mirror and he started, <laughs> he started slamming. He's poop at it. Won't <laughs> stop throwing his shit everywhere. It's disgusting. What? Oh, Forrest is not to use the fucking thing. So they call Brian from Balance Batch over. Yeah. Fuck Shout it. out Brian from Balance Tech Batch. Support. The nerd crew. Or half Nigerian, half Japanese, man. Is that true? Yeah. That's sick. Look at him. That's really cool. You can see what a cool combo. Yeah, it's very interesting. I don't want my kid to be half Nigerian, half Japanese. <laughs> hey, man. You could try. Let's go, Art. Kick his ass. Oh, my God. Yeah, kick his fucking ass. Kick his fucking Yeah. Ass. Looking like a... Uh... Oh, do you guys know who Maxim... Do you know who Maximilian Muscles? Yes, I do. Fortnite trailer? Yeah. I just been saying, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, to my <laughs> girlfriend all day. She's been getting pissed. I just been saying, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I yeah. feel like your relationship is you just saying shit and she just has to take it. Bro, it's not. Or is it not that? She just be talking about Chris Chan. All she talks about Chris Chan. She loves. That's she's a hilarious. <laughs> I've never I'm heard that ass. before. She's That's a historian. So she's like updates the wiki and shit. Whoa. And she's like, ask Ted Green. Ted Green knows because Ted Green and her bonded cool. over that. Christian's sick. Christian is very interesting. I know so He's much epic, about Christian bro. now. And like she'd be talking <laughs> about like bullshit. She'd just be hitting me and shit. And she'd be talking up a storm. But no one would think that because she doesn't say shit. Which I'm totally I haven't heard her say a word with. She yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very sad. That's cool. It's totally fine. Yeah. You know? That's but, like, where you're so at going. Exactly. We're like Naruto and Naruto. Nice. Exactly. Bro. Like nice. It's exactly. Let's like go, Art. Who wins the game? 
The game volume is Black semi loud. Throw your gang signs up, baby. Let them know. Can I get a me? Can I see me, please? I want to see how cute I am. Please show me myself. Show me myself, nigga. I mean, oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> Dream, I'm going to need you to know. <laughs> Woo! It's, it's, no, it's nobody clipped that. Man. Nobody clipped that. Stream, it's very important that nobody clips that. I don't want us to get banned. As much as I hate all Nobody's of you. Nobody's going to get banned. Can you get banned for saying that? If you're... On Twitch? Yeah. If you're black. I don't know. <laughs> black melee. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, black melee? Say black melee. It's a movement. Oh, my God. Black melee. Woo! Can I really? You can ah, uh, shit. There's one qualification. All right. You know what? I'm really hungry, bro. It's short hair. What's I'm up? I'm not going to front. I'm starving. Are you about to go? I'm about to get do some Do you want to do one more? Or do you want to just go? I'll go with you, honestly. I'm hungry. Oh, fuck this. All yeah. right. <laughs> Guys, I love you. Calm L and Calm, calm R. Up? Peace out. We're leaving. Honestly, I'm looking good today. Bro. We're leaving. We're leaving. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks for it.
The S is sick too. Those are both good Falcos. So I had a good bracket, what did you do? Um, I, I did terrible. No, I, did, I did okay. I didn't play that well. Uh, I didn't get uh, score right. Won the first game. Thanks for the losers. And then, uh, who was it? Uh, I forget. It was uh, the same guy that I played in double. Uh, you got sucks. Yeah, yeah, with me and uh, Dark uh, Gen X. Yeah, we were sick. He's gonna come next week. We're gonna, we're gonna do it again. Is he here all No, I think. Uh, I think he's not. He's not Mass. I think he's no New Hampshire. I think this match is funny. I think it's funny. <laughs> wow, the the DI on that board. I love. I'm obviously assuming you know Calvar is playing with me and. Gave in and decided to play Salmon. No, Ant, no, Ant's, um, he's like probably the best active Luigi in New England, probably. Um, I think, I want to say, Judasai has a brother that, like, had, like, a really, really great Luigi, but he's not really active. Nor have I ever met, met the guy, but, uh, yeah, I've heard, I've heard about him. And then there was, you know, me, like, when I played a lot of Luigi, like, they were, like, the three years. 
There's like, you know, there's like um, people that, that show up, uh, green stash, I think. A kid from MIT, a kid from BU, or stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, doesn't Top wait? Doesn't Top have? Don't you guys have a? Uh, we we well, we had um, we had good old Cap, uh, Alex Kaplan up until last year. But he yeah. Was MIT from that, so. mm -hmm. Yeah, salt mine. That guy's dope. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of salt. Um, so does Ant go to school, or does he? Does he just live there? Who? Uh, Ant. Oh, I'm pretty sure. I think Ant's mass. Um, no, I, d I don't know too much. Uh, we've played a few times, and he's obviously like sick. Uh, I don't know too much about him, as far as like I know. Like I remember one time um, during SFTP, one of the the larger SFTPs I had, Crush came, and he came with Crush. So I wanna I wanna say that he's bossed. Since Crush is bossed, yeah. or you know, or maybe Crush is somewhere else in mass. Not sure. All in all, oh. Yo, this Samus is actually super cool. Yeah, he's, he's killing it. Well, he's actually he's having trouble killing it, but you know what he's doing. Nice. <laughs> Into the super wave down? He did a super wave yeah, down? Yeah, he did. This guy. Oh. Good stuff, good stuff. This is sad. Very close. Calvar, uh, <laughs> confirming his seed. <laughs> I think he's what probably seed second under I'm, I'm under Smux. Second, yeah, I'm excited to see the the you know Calvar make if Calvar and Smuckers play. I'd love to see that. Yeah. I feel like that'd be very close. Hey y'all, what's up? Yo, I'm repping my Mario shirt. I got this. I got this shirt like way before I started like playing Mario. Mm -hmm. So now that I play Mario, it's like I'll wear. I can wear this. Yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> Yo, hey, I'm not dad though. Yo, yo, Forrest, change me up real quick. Change me up. And my Twitter is um at my Twitter's at Black Melee. And uh, and um yeah, my tag is Cha Cha. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Zia Zigmund. That's Z I A Z I G M O N D. That's professional Zia. Yeah. Dang. Zigmund being my last name. All right, here we go, Foy Ooh, and Foy Younger. Fantastic. I love uh, both these players a lot. They both have had their fair share of SFTP stuff, especially Younger. He used to come like almost every week. Yeah. Like, we were running as a weekly. And Foy, uh, he, he came, uh, he debuted at the summit. The summit that we did. And uh, I think he, did he take it? I think he might have won that summit, actually. Yeah. Or, and it, he won at least some of it. He might have won the, uh, maybe the, uh, the Iron Man Double Cruise that, that we do sometimes. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, like we yeah, see yeah. it. You play with the team main with multiple characters. Oh, ooh, ooh. oh we forgot it's uh, Big Yoik, not Big Foy. Oh, it's <laughs> Big Fioik. Yes. F Big Fiog. <laughs> Let's go, Forrest. Yo, um, so you're a Falco player, dude. Yes. Tell me what, like, what do you feel about this matchup? Um, so I, uh, I'm influenced nice. pretty heavily by Aspens when it comes to God. thinking about this match. My dude, I, he, he and I have talked a lot about it, and he thinks it's largely a coin toss because of all the extremely um, niche, you know, aspects of the micro game you have to know in the Falco Ditto in order to win. So there's a lot of upset potential. Yeah, it's very, it's volatile. Yeah. You know, you get one shine and it's like, you know what? The game might be over. Yeah, and, and the way that you get shines too sometimes can be so, I don't want to say gimmicky, but you just, you have to know very specific things. So like, I was talking about Aspen's earlier. What he loves to do is, uh, we play the Falco Ditto, and in low percents, he will um, jump into my downer so that he's out of hit stun before I am, and then he'll shine me off of my downer. So it's like little things like that that I think make one good at the Falco matchup. And, uh, it takes a lot of you know, grinding and obscure knowledge. I mean, every match uh, takes yeah, no, yeah, I feel like the Falco Ditto has like more obscurities than most matchups, yeah. than most Dittos. Absolutely. And, and you know, things like. Um, you know, shooting high lasers uh, over medium height lasers so that you're not getting like you're you're jumping over a laser to shoot a laser. Little little yeah. tiny things. Like that. 
Ooh. Now, Foy did something really interesting there. Um, he got he got up from and he DI'd the lasers like straight up. And uh, Younger was not able to get a combo off of these straight up lasers. I have not seen that uh, in practice actually. Very rarely. This is a super, super close game. Like, it's been going back and forth. I the like nature the of the matchup. Yeah, like, see, like that. Yeah. That's Boy. like, that's that, that's that frame perfect stuff. Right yeah. now. That's like, you just gotta, and that's why, like, you know how some people, um, you know, play with headphones, some people play, like, they just need to hear the game, you know, especially when, like, cues, like, for um, Falco's side B, and, like, hearing that, and yeah. just, like, the mental, mem the muscle memory of, you know, hearing certain things and being able to react to them. Yeah. That's super important. That's basically how he did that. He heard it ding, and he pressed A, he got the jab, and he was able to connect. Yeah, and he hit it at a ridiculously close spacing, too. You know, it wasn't like, he wasn't like reacting to the side B. I, I agree with you, he was reacting to the, like, the, the noise. Yeah, exactly. Side, so as, as, as soon as he knew that that move was coming. Yeah, he yeah. probably already assumed it would be, because that's just yeah. like, you know, Falco, as we all know, Falco's up B uh, doesn't have any hitbox in the fire, so you're and you're literally a sitting duck. It made more sense to side B there than up so I can see why. That was a great angle. Yeah, great that angle. That was like, yeah, especially on basketball, that's super risky. Down air from ledge because he wasn't respectful. Oh, wow, that space. grab. Nice. Good coverage of that angle. You had to dip out a little further than comfortable. You, have to, you just have to like be confident in your like your aerial drift. Because that Falco has like huge full hop. Yeah. And it's like you can cover so many yeah. angles with it. But you know, obviously once you're off stage, if you're Falco, you're not in good. So oh, just yeah. you know, you especially with like lasers, you're off stage and it's like you literally that could be it. Like yeah. right now. Oh, nice. Good angle. Yep. Yeah. Safe. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, these these are uh, oh what we're seeing right now are basically the the premier Falco play in New England. These yeah. are both. Uh, is Younger on PR right now? I think he, he is, is, right? I, I or no, no, or maybe was he on the? I believe he might be on the chorus. Is Younger on the PR right now? The summer PR? Is he like at the bottom of it or something? Yeah, I think he's at yeah, like at 15 or something. Oh, I thought Project was on. No, no, Project's not on. I'm, I'm talking about. The New, um, New England PR. Oh, not the Mass. Yeah, a Mass, yeah. yeah. These guys are like, they've been on it. Yeah. Him, Yasu, yeah. recently got on it. Shout out to Yasu, Black yeah, Melee. Top player, Yasu. I remember seeing a tweet from him uh, at the beginning of last school year that was, you know, he was talking about wow. how much more seriously he was going to take the game, and within you know this year, yep. he's been leveling up really hard. It's sick to see. Oh my god! <laughs> my man charged an F smash the other way and he walked through him into the F smash. That's that stuff, man. That is that stuff in this matchup. Oh, melee. God, I love melee. Melee, melee indeed. Ugh. Ah, who, what's next? What have we got next? All right, is this Smuckers and Yasu? Hey, there we Ooh. go. So we got our top seed visiting us. What? Uh, Smuckers in New York, I believe, right? Yes. Uh, so Captain Smuckers visiting us from New York, and our very own top player Yasu, the Black Smart of New England. Um, and let's see. All right, this this is gonna be good. Especially seeing. Uh, were you watching um, Captain Smuckers and Bank? I did not. I did not watch that. Story. Yeah. So like, long story short, so obviously uh, Smuckers won. Bank put up a good fight. He was super, super nervous in the beginning. And then he kind of got his bearings um, and got some pretty good punches. It was FD. Was, you know, it was uh, Bank's counter pick. So you know, oh, see. Okay. And this, that, the kind of stuff. And this is like, I was talking to a few people after the the Bank Smucker set. Um, top 100 play, especially when it comes to a place where there isn't any top 100 players. You just you realize how how like clean yeah. this have, game can be. They have perfect control of their characters. Like so like yeah. see look they they everything is assessed. They're not yeah and I think something that top players are really amazing at is knowing when to pause, yeah. not throw out a hitbox, and space yourself to cover what you know is coming. Exactly out. right yeah. But you know at the mid level we see a lot of like I need to cover right where the other. Exactly, e exactly. Yeah. There's a lot of chasing. Yes, you just chase, you chase someone, it's like, you know, that's a very predictable way to play. Especially, like, since top players have been playing, usually for a very long time, uh, all sorts of different people, you know, they've seen it all. They've yes. seen, like, 
the gods, but it's like it's not just play to my god. You know? yeah. so, like, there's nothing you can really do that's going to be like optimal or you know something you would actually want to do exactly. in a tournament set that they're not ready for. Yeah. So like, even if you do it, like you said, like learning when to pause. Like, like for instance, so many Falcons would have jumped up and immediately tried to get that knee, but he stayed on ledge. He faked, pump faked a couple he times. Like backwards. He knew, over the he knew Yasu would have to go to stage. Yeah. I mean, if he upbeat, he could maybe get to like that platform and possibly, you know, like fall through the yeah. platform as the mix up. But like, he could cover all that with stomps and knees. Yeah. And he knows that. You know? I top 100 play to me is very calm. Like, yeah. It's it's controlled and there's no kind of nervousness. And not nervousness, but there's no like, I don't know. It's not frantic. Whereas I feel like a mid-level player wow. wants to have all oh, Like, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Just knowing, like, okay, is he going to be ready to react to, like, a quick wave land into my shield? You know, like, that's that stuff, man. Yeah, and I, I think what, when you watch top of the play, it starts looking a lot more like a traditional fighting game, just in the way that there's not as many cross-ups. You know, the person who has center stage is going to hold center stage for, like, a longer period of yeah. time. It, start, it starts to look a lot more like a 2D fighting game, which is really the same. Good tech, Jace from Yasu. Yep. Yeah, it just seems like the top players, like, they know. Like, one, one of my favorite um, things to reference. My favorite player is not. Different. And um, one of the things that you can easily see, the thing I really, really like about Nun, aside from, like, the obvious, like, he's, like, sick and he's, like, risky and, 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 he and very flashy, yeah. um, he also knows exactly when when he's lost. So, like, for instance, like, if he's getting edge guard, like, he'll give up because he just knows. Like, he has respect for his opponent in that sense. Um, I respect this Roy. I am so down for this Roy. I've been playing a lot of Roy recently. Uh, and this matchup actually isn't as bad as it looks, Ooh, as you can see. Nice. Wow. An early lead from top yeah. player. Yeah, so I just wanted to say, like, you know, none is, like, a perfect example to me of someone like, oh, yeah, right? Like, see, he knew. Yeah, and, like, knowing that you can still grab ledge after that, yep. I totally was like, he's going to die. Yep, exactly. Yeah, so like I, I've seen so many times like Numb will like get hit and like obviously sure he could do uh, a down B and try to recover, but he knows like he he made a mistake, he messed up in neutral, whatever the case may be. You know, and I like he doesn't what I like about it is that he doesn't expend any extra energy, any mental energy like trying to recover from things that are futile, you know, like things that like you, you've lost, you've lost this interaction, you've lost this stock, yeah. you've lost this game, like he's really calm, and, like you can tell like in his face, like he's yeah. just like, he's deadpan the entire time, like he's just trying to be focused on like what he's actually doing next. I think that's actually really, really like important in Melee. The other thing uh, I, I want to kind of like, that's been on my mind um, is how important mental game is. When I was watching the, specifically the bank Smucker's match. Um, yeah, and by the way, for anyone who's, who's you know, doesn't know the faces, Captain Smucker's is actually with the Super Smash Sister shirt on the left, and uh, Top Player Oxy was on the right, in case, you know. Yeah, yeah if you want to switch the two. Oh, word. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Um, yeah. Ooh, I th th that's something that Smucker's really enjoys. Going for, is that to know, like, to know that you, from the up that like, you can just do a full hop reverse nade and hit it, like, with Roy's, like, like, it's great. <laughs> yeah, he's like, fantastic. I've been reverse nade a Roy off of an up throw before. What's the big deal? Yeah. Oh, okay, so there's best of, there's best of five. Yeah, I believe so. I, well, then I really, I don't know. I mean, obviously, Yasu knows better than I do. Uh, but I question the Roy thing. I'm really jealous of how well Smucker's moves, even with these TVs. Because honestly, like, I was playing my Roy and my Falcon to not bracket, but just like, you know, in general. And I just like, wow. Like, the fact that he did that safely mm -hmm. was really cool. Um, wow. Yeah, he's just... I'm, I'm really mesmerized, honestly, um, by Falcon players. And I think Smuckers is really, really underrated as Absolutely. Falcon player. Like, he's really good. He has such a, like, a nice calculated, but it's not boring. And he's no. not just like a, you know, like a tech-chasing 
no, you know, like a really, robot either, you know? He has a really nice mix of... He's precise, I guess that's the word, but he's just such a precise Falcon. Yes. Look at, yeah, right? Yeah. He's and I, I like the crouch cancel from Yasu on the gentleman, but again, you know, this one was just like, I can just yeah. get all three of them. Wow. Staking out the knee. I love, I, honestly, that's one of my favorite things to watch is a Falcon do like a safe knee on shield and just like space it back. Oh my god. That's like, that's crazy to me. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yep. That's a risky thing to do on Yoshi since uh, the floor is pretty low. Or actually pretty shallow. I like so. the... Both, both as Roy and oh, both yeah. as Roy and as Marth, Yasu's had. I like the uh, neutral B edge cards that you can do on It's like that fake. You know, it's not. Genius. Yeah, I, the the neutral B edge card is really great because like you can charge it forever. It's uncomplicated. You know, it's you're, it's not too fancy and it, it gets the job done. Oh my god, the first pair. Yeah, like like just knowing where to put those hit boxes. Oh, oh my lord. God. I can't. I just like, and the thing that this is like normal for like top 100 play. You know, this isn't like crazy. This is no, not like, no, this is like, what you should do. That is what you should do in Melee. And uh, we're, we're really happy uh, and really lucky to have Smokers here today. Um, because sometimes, you know, we don't have top 100 players. We forget. We forget sometimes, like, like what it is at the top. Can I just say, let's go top player Yasuo. Yeah. His uh, mighty cool. Um, yeah, and watching, I don't know, watching a bunch of, like, fringe top 100 level play, which is where I would say a lot of people is bad, like, a lot of the upper level players are, like, almost, you know, think about, um, I don't know, like, the upper level, Foig and, uh, Lint. Yeah. Those are two different, two very different people. My point is, when you watch a lot of, like, fringe top 100 level play, um, you kind of get accustomed to that. You say, okay, this, you know, this is like... Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta head out to you. Okay, yeah, no problem. Nice well, uh, what we got? Yeah, thanks, man. Much appreciated. Yeah. Thanks for uh, inviting me. Hey, uh, check out Zia. Zia runs tournaments at Tufts. Wow, We're on nice. Tufts. Let's go Tufts. <laughs> let them know, let them know. And uh, I'll see you uh, later. I'll see you, like, next week or something. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out to Forrest. Hold down stream for us. Thanks, Forrest. <laughs> All right, y'all, have a good night. This is Cha Cha at Black Melee. Yeah, so a lot of the time when mid-level melee is the thing that you're exposed to the most, um, there's a, you get the conception that, like, this is, you know, I don't know. You get used to it, and you say, like, you know, this is, this is pretty amazing stuff. But when, when a top 100 player comes, uh, it changes your entire perspective on, you know, what, not not only what options are good, but just like how far the game can be pushed later, Chai Chai. Ready? Okay, so we have uh, Calvar Foig. Uh, what are <laughs> Rough life for Foig. Getting power shield. I like that grab. Uh, off of the missed L cancel because uh, Calvar was putting up his shield, so this a good option off the down here. Unfortunate SD. Calvar uh, does the side eye. Unfortunate positioning on the end of that shield back here. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. What's up, PJ? I had to come on commentary because he's wearing the PJ tag. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that's fair. Are you going to cheer him on? Yeah. So, fuck Calbar. Um, <laughs> he's pretty good at this game. And, uh, but he plays Marth, and I hate Marth. And uh, he's wearing PJ tag, so let's go uh, he's big boy. Yeah, let's go PJ tag on uh, whoever's around. Okay. So Johan ties it up real quick, which he needed, and his combo would have grabbed him and killed him. That's fair, yeah. That's a good prediction. 
I think his tag stands for uncle. Yeah, do you know what that, do you know what that's about? It could be like a say uncle kind of thing, which is a little, uh, you know, I don't know what the word is, but you know what I mean. I've never actually heard somebody say, say uncle. Like, oh, really? Like, yeah. I've got a lot of machismo, um, like, 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 not comfortable with their sexuality, yeah. co Italian cousins, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, okay, yeah. You got shit like that. Gotcha. Um, do they, like, give you a, do they, like, twist your arm skin until it hurts? I've, they've done that before, but that's pretty much like a good way to describe the whole idea. <laughs> the, the entire situation is just to be summed up. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, Calvar has been kind of been keeping the edge the whole game, even though it's been close. And, oh, shoot. This could be it. Oh, but the spot on. He ended up getting stuck in shine, unfortunately. Yeah. I, I really like uh, when Johan decides to like. Uh, I was a good grab. Oh, what's up? It was a good ledge grab. Oh, yeah. It was a good ledge grab. Um, but, like, Johan is really good at, like, if he hits a down air and he thinks that he doesn't have time to, like, up tilt, for example, like, you know, if, uh, if there's enough time for the opponent to go into shield, he'll grab the like, PJ! <laughs> Let's go PJ tag. This is a win for you, Big Yoig. All right, Big Yoig, showing to the world that Marth can be beat with Falco, and Calvar can too. But now he's going to have to play him on FD. Yeah. So how do you think the, uh, if, if, if Calvar runs in a smart uh, how, or whether, okay, so if, if Calvar wins, how do you think Calvar smart is going to go? And if Foyd wins, how do you think Foyd's going to go? I think similarly, but I could think of maybe a little bit more for Calvar. Um, the situation is how ready is Smucker's going to be for the, for the degenerate New England play style. Like, is, is he going to see, like, our decent players and, like, get caught off guard by the stupid shit that we do? And the answer is that's possible. Yeah. I mean, uh, I know, um, uh, Foyk took him to game five last time, so he's, like, very good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, then Falco, uh, the, the other situation that does not count far is Falco, Falco could be tough. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it, it's possible, but I think Smokers is definitely the favorite in this uh, tournament. So, you know, duh. Yeah. So, Big Boy takes the first game. Let's go PJ. Uh, they go back to Battlefield. Oh, I like that. They're pretty much scrambling for this first dog. Yeah. <laughs> he does the dash dance of Darren Spot Touch. <laughs> so, it was all a bait. Yeah, it was. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Calvar just evens it up without him getting any damage on him. I like that light shield. Uh, Marth having such a terrible shield, it's, I think it's kind of an underutilized option. At least, like, at this level. When, uh, yeah, when you light shield with Marth, not only pushes you away from Falco's pressure, which could literally get you out of the situation or in range for your stupid long grab to hit, <laughs> but also it does protect you because you've got a small shield. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. so I think he could have angled it back, but that was a skirmish situation. I'm pretty bad at commentating. Oh no, that's okay, that's okay. I'm just starting out too. Um, We're in this together. <laughs> hey. Oh. I, I don't want to just like sit here and talk about how I want Big Boy to win. <laughs> I'm very uh, salty about Falco and Marth all the time. So I'm just a sore loser. Oh. And Palvar, Palvar's got pretty good guy uh, power shields. He does. He's been consistent with those this whole time. I love that double jump bait. That was really close. Palvar could have just killed him, but he doesn't. Kind of stutters. And, uh, you know, you really... This is tough, because, like, if you do anything stupid, you'll just die. And you have to kind of thread the needle to get yes. through Marth's defensive options, which are pretty darn good. Yeah, threading the needle is definitely a good way to describe it. Like, getting back to up. center, yeah. Getting back, like, if, you know, if you try to fight your way back into center, you just get down tilted. Um, or, you know, as much fair, like, you can't, you're, you're not going to beat him, uh, like, from the ledge, uh, trying to fight your way in, because they're at this, they're already, they've set up this, like, the Marth space, you know? Yeah. Um, so a lot of times it's like trying to trying to get back to center without fighting. That's tough. Yeah. So he's saving FD, I think. Right. Mm. That has to be like he doesn't actually think that the other. Oh! Like you're sick. <laughs> I taught him that. Oh, let's go, Yohan. Um, that was tight. But this is you know this is tough. Look, he's off stage and yeah. he's dead. Right. Yeah. Good 
privilege that Albert just not going to work. Yeah. Getting on the commuter rail in the morning. I actually have to take the bus. I gotta leave and get a certain time. I'm taking the bus. I'm taking the bus to Cape Cod. Oh, so I actually have to make like a bus. Oh, oh, you're going to Cape Cod this evening. Yeah. Wow. I live. Uh, I go to Tufts, so I'm like in Davis Square, and uh, I I take Davis Square for granted. I think I'm always like, oh, it's so far, and then I hear how like. You know, uh, Green Bean was telling me last week that he has to drive all the way to South Shore from here. And, like, people make these crazy commutes, so. Yeah. You know, count, count those I mean, if you go from T to T, you know, you gotta like that. You gotta respect it. Yeah. yeah. Do you live on the Cape? No. Okay, gotcha. Um. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> he's already losing. <laughs> it's 1 1. You know, the, the thing the thing is, like, when I watch this matchup, it feels like the neutral game is more like Marth has this mix-up of dash dance, grab, hitbox, and then you could throw out, like, shields or counters, like, which is, like, your like, semi-option, which you kind of, like, mix in there. And, like, you either have to have, like, intensely good micro-spacing or get, like, a read slash mix-up on Marth to get in as well. Yeah, Cause, absolutely. Like, he can power shield your laser, which isn't that easy. Like that is something you can do. Yeah. And then like he can, sh he really has like such a good dash dance. That he can shield a lot of your approaches. And then his grab is so long that even if you space well, he can just grab you. Which is like that's not how it works with Falco for every character. Your game plan is kind of destroyed by the fact that Mars grab reaches two and a half characters long. Yeah. Like. Yeah. In order to in order to get an opening, you have to like you know. Oh! Ideally, I mean, ideally you have Marth and Laser oh, Stun. Let's go! No, you're good. You, I mean, you have to have Marth and Laser Stun, and you have to, like, have the full momentum of your run in order to play fast enough to get counter like, off of your... And even, in, and then even sometimes there are times where you still will, like... So I don't know. That's why I think this matchup is kind of busted for Marth. Uh, I definitely think Marth wins. Um, I don't know the extent to which he wins. Just as, as a privileged Falco player, I realize that I play all these other matchups and it's like, well, Fox, like, kind of wins, but, like, they're all pretty, like, you know, good for me. Yeah. And then Martha, I'm like, what the heck, man? But, you know, Calvar, I mean, I feel like <clears throat> Johan has kind of been on the back foot this entire set and, like, when he brought it back, right? Yeah. And, yeah, it's stuff like that's keeping him in the game. Oh, how was he going to finish this? Ooh, that was a good slide off yeah, by Calvar. Did he hold down? Yeah, he yeah, yeah, down. Okay. I'm pretty sure. So it, it's like you hold down and then what which direction you go depends on like the side of you that they hit with the down air? Is that yeah. It? Okay, got it. That's what? Me? You go yeah, you this is what you hold down first, right? And then the ledge? Yeah, you, you hold down when you get hit and then you kinda like aim it towards the ledge to try to grab it. Um but pretty much with that's not even like a every single hitbox in any situation you can either hit them from the front or the back like okay i uh i'm still unsure if, uh I, I can't slide off on command so i'm not sure if that that's weird kind of get a feel for it so yeah johan's winning but he could lose so. <laughs> and like this is pretty much the just a nerve-wracking moment where you wait until he could have got him because he missed his L cancel or something. He doesn't. Oh. He spaces his grab with or his aerial within grab reach. <laughs> this is tough. <laughs> oh! Uh, Woo! <laughs> so PJ takes game three. <laughs> Calvar down 2-1, but still has FD in his bag. Yeah, I assume this is when FD would go. Oh. I think he's hoping that if a game five situ oh, yeah, well, if he wins this game, he won't be able to counter pick. Oh, 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 yo, that's so sick. No, it's not, because if he, if Johan <laughs> puts it called, if Calvar wins this game, he won't be able to counter pick. So he's pretty much trying to say that I can win without FD, or saying that he doesn't want to. Now, when you say he won't be able to counter pick, you just mean that, like, Foyk has to go to FD, right? No. I'm, I'm saying the opposite. If Calvar wins this, it'll be game five and it'll be Floyd's counterpick. So he pretty much said that I'm not going to oh, play on okay. FD. Yeah. I thought it was having to do with like DSR and then... Uh, it would have worked. It would have worked if it was if he was up again, you know? Uh, I see. 
a big foy could take those two dubs. And this isn't looking good. Fallon's a tough stage because Falco does do really well on this stage, but like sometimes you're just gonna get killed. And like Fallon is the stage where that happens even more. I think uh, at like the lower to mid level, a lot of the difficulty is getting past like knowing when you're going to perfect land on a low, like on a lower platform, for example. Um, being able to like pay attention to the changing platform height so you don't like try to aerial and then get caught like on top yeah. of the platform as opposed to something I definitely still have problems with. I know the platform's moving gets everybody. <laughs> oh shoot! Wow. I know. Not only did that cover it, like covered in the best way possible. That's Marth. <laughs> Marth's got the he's got the long grab, and then instead of having like something to make up for it, he's also got the super long hitboxes that blow up, wall you out from wherever you are. And then to compliment that, he's got the best dash dance in the game. Hey, uh, you played Calvar before, right? Yeah. I, me and Calvar were like 5-5 five, five in sets like a year and a half ago, and now we're probably like 10-5, not one in a while. <laughs> Um, I've, I've noticed, like, when, uh, when we played, you, like, triple shine my shield. Yes. What does Calvar, how does Calvar respond to a triple shine on shield? Or, like, any double shine? It's harder to even get in that situation yeah. in this matchup. Um, but, you know, it just depends. Like, honestly, the thing is, the Marth players aren't thinking that hard about it. So if they hold shield through the third shine, they'll go, oh, and grab. And you know, but then sometimes the same, but the third shine might actually catch them off guard because they might see the second shine and then go, all right, now I can grab. So it's a mix up. As usual. Oh, I like the way, I like the way Yoan's playing, but on Yoshi's, you know, you really gotta be careful. You can just die. I love that it's Calvar like full hops and then doesn't fast walk. It's just so uh, yeah. like slow, but it's like I don't know. It's like it's relaxed. It's like telegraphed but safe if you space it well. Yeah, and I, I think things like that are indicative of Calvar as a player. Where like it's extremely simple a lot of the time. You know, it's not like kind of degen. <laughs> but uh, in a way where it, like it all makes sense. You know. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate. Honestly, I feel like, you know, I don't want to I don't want to be too much of a, a, a mean person, but I feel like Calvar's play all makes sense, but I'm like kind of on a simplistic level, which, you know, I mean, if he's winning, it's not necessarily a bad thing. But it's like, you can kind of see what he's doing. Yeah. You know? And, you know, some people at, like, lower level, they watch it, and they don't really know what's going on, even if they might, like, try to act like they do. Oh, but that's a stock lead, game five. The momentum for PJ is going really good. <laughs> Are you gonna like pop off with me? I uh, gotta jump out of the chair. No, probably not jump. I'll probably stand up though. <laughs> oh, and that shit, that back air, the back air from ledge might have hit. Pretty fair. The, the back air from ledge, I, I see Stuss do that a lot. Or like, shine turnaround back air from ledge. Oh, I was talking from Mark, but that's good too. Oh, oh I see, gotcha. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Shine, uh, shine stalling into back air for an edge guard kind of gives you time to time it. Oh, there it is. It's a classic. Because it's, it's nice to be able to get off the ledge instead of having to do your specific timing while you're on the ledge because of how, like, you know, if you, like, hit the wrong direction, you can, like, get up or fall or do whatever. Because the ledge is kind of finicky. The shine gives you that extra, like, security to know where you're at and then to do it. Which isn't what's going on. Calvar's camping ledge, down a stock, 140. Probably wants to cheese him real bad. It's the same thing. Are you out? Yes, uh, I lost Chula. You murdered my run. <laughs> I was playing so whatever, whatever. Uh, I don't know who Trilo is playing. Like after. Oh. He's actually really good. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. Oh shit, and see, you know, he really didn't get anything started on Halvar the whole stock, and, and there it is. Now he's losing. Oh! 
and now <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Oh, this is scary. Yeah, I like Foig doesn't doesn't even engage on that. He's like, I'm just gonna dead. Foig like really is like on the verge of killing him and is probably getting more and more frustrated the less oh he kills him. God, that wave land was so fast. Falco, you gotta have good wave lands, Falco. Definitely. Especially I mean at the high percent so that's like how you uh damn and, and invincibility versus Marth is tough. Oh yeah. And he dies off invincibility. All right, well, sometimes the bad guy wins good night, I'm leaving. Wait, no, I think that's 2-2. Two, two. No, that's it. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, uh, nice commentating with you, PJ. Uh, I'm sad. It's okay. You'll, uh, we, we, we'll play again. Mm -mm. Okay, so Calvar Smuckers. I wish I could see chat so I could say hello to all of you uh, wonderful people, but chat is unfortunately... Let's see if I can enable it. Excuse me for one moment. I unfortunately can't, uh, I don't have access to chat at the moment, but I hope you all are uh, having a good evening here at uh, the stream for New Game Plus Ultra 38 at Balance Patch in Alston, Massachusetts. Uh, Alston, fun fact, the coolest neighborhood in Boston, unquestionably. Uh, that's just, that's not an opinion, that's objectively true. Um, I'm not from there, I just enjoy it immensely. Some delicious tap water uh, from Tufts University that I have with me today. Highly recommend. In fact, uh, everybody in chat, if you want to have access to some delicious tap water from Tufts University, uh, we will be holding a weekly starting next semester. Uh, details are on the Tufts. Details will be on the Tufts Smash Facebook page. Um, Feel free to join. Uh, we got a great little scene. Uh, it's going to be a free tournament on the Red Line. So uh, you Red Line peeps, Somerville, Medford, Arlington maybe, you know. Um, I don't know, Revere, if you're getting a little spicy. Come come through, come through to the Tough Street Series uh, starting this next semester. We have some delicious tap water and also some great melee. And uh, with that said, uh, we have Calvar versus Captain Smuckers, the one and two seeds at this tournament, facing off, I believe this is winner's finals. Oh, cool. 
Oh, uh, G-Tone, the ultimate homie, looking for a commentator buddy for yours truly. I appreciate that, G-Tone. If you uh, go back and watch this, thanks for all that you do. Stas, what's up, man? Looks like we got some sick hand warmers from the, <laughs> from the gentleman. Oh, they both died. Look at that. So uh, some high octane hand warmers for sure. I think they should just play it out. Oh nope. These hack stashes are insane. You know, from these hand warmers, I feel like uh, Calvar might win. This one. <laughs> now, have these two played before? I don't believe they have. Uh, so the last time they played was the oh, last boy. Apollo, and uh, Calvar won 3-0. So. Oh, okay. I I remembered uh, they also played at the gang. Um, I think Smokers won at the gang. Yeah, I'm pretty um, sure, because he won the whole thing. Oh, duh. Yes, you, you were right. Um, but, okay, cool. So Calvar coming in with the uh, momentum having won their Apollos. Oh, wow. Great slide off. Yeah, I'm like frustrated just like watching the Smuckers because like he's thrown out so many moves that just barely haven't hit Calvar. Like while he wasn't shielding. Yeah. It's just like, ah. Yeah, Smuckers will do like a uh, like a shuffle stomp all the way across the stage and it'll just barely miss. Yeah. Like there was one up air he did that just like completely, like, that just like curved right, like right outside of Calvar. I like that Nair. Yeah, I thought he was going to down it, honestly. Nice. Okay, wow, Calvar with a strong lead. I feel like Calvar, one of Calvar's, like, really, uh, one of his strengths are, like, his, like, you know, conversion of hits and, like, knocking someone from on stage to off stage. Yeah. And that's really important in this matchup. Like, Captain Falcon's weakness is, I feel like, uh, what yes. he can and can't do off stage. Yeah, Calvar combos, he doesn't try to combo vertically uh, when it's unnecessary. He, like, you know, he'll put you off stage when it makes sense to put you off stage. Um, which is really valuable. And you're right, especially in this matchup when, when Falcon suffers uh, so heavily off stage. Right there, yeah. Yeah, and Calvar just controlling, uh, controlling Smuckers' recovery boots extremely well. Oh, wow. A little late on that one, but yeah. I don't think it's going to hurt him too much. He tried to wrap the boost out of that one. That's not going to work here. Wow, this is dominant. Oh. Ooh. I love that double jump. Oh, so clean. Oh, <laughs> that was so nice. Oh. Yeah, Kyle was playing exceptionally well today. Good crouch. So he's got that. So what? You, so I think that Calvar's tag is for his girlfriend Nicole. But when oh. I first saw it, I was like, Uncle. Yeah. It's Uncle Calvar. Yeah. I also thought uh, uh, PJ and I were talking about it earlier. We both thought it was Uncle. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's uh, for his girlfriend Nicole who's here with oh, me. Oh. Okay. Okay. That makes so much more sense. Really, like, I, I saw it at the uh, the Invitational too, and I was like, What is Uncle? <laughs> That is the bravest edge guard, just taking the side B like a champ. I feel like the more stocks you have, the less brave it gets. It's like, what's the what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> no, I, I just like the idea of like just taking the hit and then they die just because you just took the hit to your body. You know, just the concept of it. So I made a pl I I told Calvar like at the beginning of the day uh, that I had a prediction that he was going to get down through need at least once. That, like, that was just going to be one thing that's going to happen. I'm just waiting. <laughs> You're looking for, are you going to like, go up to him after the turn and be like, it happened. Um, that was an up throw knee, so that one doesn't count. Uh, you're, you're both big tough guys, aren't you? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Always. What, what's it like being a big tough guy? 
um, so, you know, heavy things aren't as heavy anymore. <laughs> um, you know, there's not a bookshelf. There's not, like, I can reach all the books on my bookshelf. Sick. It made you taller, too? Yeah, big and tough, dude. Wow, wow, wow. I agree. That's, that's fantastic. Um, I, uh, last week, uh, Kalvar and Dudutsai were, they would do, like, push-ups and sit-ups, like, really fast right before each one of their sets. And I was wondering if that was, like, a big tough guy uh, procedure or if that was just the two of them. I think that's definitely a side thing. Anyone, anyone who does... Push-ups with Sai, I think, is falling in suit. I may be incorrect. I don't know if Sai, you oh. know. Oh, oh my god! god. Is, the stomp pivot shield drop up here, that was so fast. So this game, you know, we thought we, we saw a really commanding game uh, game one from uh, Kalvar. We had no idea. But we have just <laughs> a convincing game two from Smuckers. Yeah, you shaping have to be good stuff. I mean, granted, <coughs> it, like, people say this, uh, map, uh, I almost said map. Yikes. <laughs> this stage, uh, you know, Marts, you know, don't like, this, like, platform height and, and, you know, all that good stuff. But, um, Kalvar, you know, I think he likes it. I, I think he doesn't mind it as much. I think, you know, he realizes, you know, more goes into a match than just stages. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Captain Falcon loves the stage. Marth, not so much. So, that could be, that could have something to do with uh, how this game's going. Good for Rush I think that covered both, like, oh. drifts. Okay, this is closer than uh, than it was. Now ah, there it is. See, Kalvar is the homie, you know. But I would love to see some of that crazy like uh, gang grand final stuff that yeah. Snuffles is doing to Zane. That was so cool. Yeah, the, the, the wall, the just wall like the jump wall up jump up there. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. sick. Oh, oh I like oh that. The platform the edge cancel. Oh my. Please. Edge cancel, sorry, not platform cancel. Oh! Caught him. Caught him slipping. <laughs> so Wait. I came back to Battlefield. Uh, I guess so. Uh, Smuckers is probably yeah, like, yeah, I'm down. Yeah. I mean, he does get reverse up B on the stage. Um, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> just grab it over and over. He's nice grab for the jump. Oh! This is, uh... This up. Oh. Smuckers See, I feel cool. like the first game, Ka Smuckers was like barely not hitting Calvar, and now I feel like Calvar is just like barely like like not clipping Smuckers. Ooh, wow, that, that was cancel. that was actually crazy. I like get so confused when I see like some crouch like some crouch canceling scenarios because it's just like yeah. Sometimes you feel like you're more you're like actionable faster. Than others, that one he seems like he, like that seemed like he was just like already grabbing when, yeah. when he when he did it. Ooh. Like what do you do in that situation, Marth? Like you're just like ah, he's gonna grab a ledge off this white shield, <laughs> Marth killer. Uh, Ooh, there Smuckers we go has been really consistent with his slide off the eyes. Uh, like off getting up there and he also like buffers a stomp so even if the stomp doesn't necessarily hit it just kind of like covers his bases uh you know just in case Kalvar tries to uh respond to the stomp very smart stuff okay, simple edge guard oh that's, a, that's actually wild it looked like it went right through yeah I feel like Kalvar uh, goes for those like jumping neutral B edge guards a lot. Yeah. Hey, did you see the Santi uh, Did you see uh, Kalvar versus Santiago at uh, uh, G5? Yes. Yeah. There was a there was a moment like that just there where it looked like it was gonna hit, but it didn't. And Santiago just side beat through, and I got the back. Ah. 
Ah. Well, uh, Sus, it's been great commentating. Yeah, it has. I'm gonna find my replacement. <laughs> Thank you. Gosh, another great slide off from Smuckers. Yeah, and yet another. Calvar jumping to uh, bait the high recovery. <laughs> it's so satisfying. It really is watching watching back air knee. Or just I don't know. When you know the knee is coming. Wow, what? Absolutely bonkers down air by Calvar. Smarker's controlling the corner incredibly well. And the hack stash to take the stock. Zoo. Okay, nice pivot. Wow, very clean from Calvar. Good pivot. Good grab. Calvar controls the corner. Smuggers just jump, jumping straight to top platform. Calvar indirectly covered. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, Calvar stops the bleeding. Great back. I appreciate the confidence. <laughs> Good weight from Calvar. Fair grab. Oh, wow. Calvar seems a little bit in his head. But there's the up there knee. Good DI. Let's see if he can take this to a game of four. Taking his time on the ledge. Oh, my God. Absolutely, uh, I, I don't have words for the, there's a weak knee, perfect land up smash, good stuff to Smuckers. Um, and uh, I believe we'll have losers semis next. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. People of the chat, I have with me a fantastic snack this evening. Now, uh, we talked about this a little bit last week, but here I have with me some wonderful, bold wasabi and soy sauce almonds uh, from Blue Diamond. They're extremely high quality. Um, they're delicious, great source of protein. And uh, if you come to Balance Patch, I will personally, I will personally give you a few. I'll give you at least two. Come to Balance Patch, everybody, and get an almond from your friends here. Um. We're waiting on the winner of uh, Big Foig and Ryan. Big Foig and Ryan. Mm. Okay. Very exciting stuff. Um, so I'll be holding it down on commentary just for a little while. At least. I enjoy commentary. I enjoy 
looking at games critically. I enjoy the chat. All good, all good. Mm. There is never a bad time for an almond. Ugh. People of the chat, I want you to take a look at the wonderful uh, production value that we are blessed with at this tournament. Uh, we have DX racing chairs everywhere. They're not in frame, but, you know, we have a stream. We're really blessed here in Boston. Ferox. Oh, my gosh, Ferox. I appreciate it, man. How are you? Gotcha, gotcha. I was going to say, I'm having a hard time here. Okay, so uh, it seems like Big Yoig beat Rhyme and is now playing Yasuo. Yeah, that's what you're saying. How's it going, Ferox? It's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. Oh my god, dude. Where are you going to say that? Um, that's a good... I guess so. Uh, it was Stuss, and before that it was... Uh, Cha-Cha? Stuss has a large... <laughs> no, it was Stuss, uh, and it was like... In chronological order, it was Carl, it was uh, Cha Cha, and then PJ, and then Stuss. So, it's been a lot of so yeah, so that's a large thing. All right, so we got Boy versus uh, Yasu. Boy, dude, Boy almost beat Calvar. I was, yeah. my heart was broken to not see that. Yeah, it was. Uh, he was playing extremely well. Um, he got trapped in some. Very difficult to escape. Yeah, uh, PJ and I were talking about it. You really, when when Marth has you in the corner, the the, the escape act that you have to partake in just to get back to the center of the stage, let alone you know fully reset neutral, is really insane. Good, good air dodge. Uh, yep. that. But Yasu also won one of these. Yasu is so good. Man. Yeah. You see. The, I love like seeing Prime get beaten by like Yasu and Boyd or whatnot. I don't know, they're, they're just like breaking in to like uh, very I've, high up in New I've only been uh, in the New England scene for like a year. Uh, was Prime like Prime for a long time? I think has been like PR. And but these guys have only like recently gotten PR in like Massachusetts, I think. Yeah. Or maybe, you know, I, I'm not exactly sure. I think. Is he actually going to be PR? No, I don't think. I think he's I 14. I mean, he's no, I think that's. Uh, either way. Either way, they're case. now like. Let's, yeah, they're getting when the next good. PRs come out, you'll see it probably reflected a lot better. But they're they've gotten a lot better. And they're definitely. I think the boy almost beat Calvar. That's kind of ridiculous. Calvar is like third New England right yeah, now. He is. Not counting, I believe, uh, not counting Mafia because he hasn't been in yeah. like five years for obvious reasons. But yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty crazy to see Floyd do this well. Is this the uh, uh, the projects tag? What's the oh project? Uh, project is Yaz's team yeah. partner. I don't know. They yeah. call they call themselves Rush Hour Prefet. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. I would assume that's what the tag is. Yeah, but it's Floyd, right? <laughs> yeah, very confusing. Good crash cancer. 
Oh shit, is he gonna die here? Yes, yes he is. Wow. <laughs> He's just side. You see Yasu just waiting for the side beat and then you see Foig started at like head level. It was like, no, 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 no. That's not happening. Okay, so I guess again. the uh, winner of this will play Kalmar. Um, the winner of this will lose to Kalmar. Um, who said that? Oof. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Actually, that's interesting. You never know what's going to happen in Marth Divs because they're just so weird. That's true. <laughs> Bank beat Kalmar a while back. That's yeah. crazy. He was Marth Divs are weird. Um, Bank was telling me about that. Marth Divs are weird. I asked Bank, like, how do you beat Kalmar? He's like, Martha doesn't are not a skill-based matchup. Oh. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, so far, both of these players do very well. Yeah. Okay. Good space in that smash. Uh, that was a great air, and that was not a great score. Yeah, I was thinking He had the kill and then did not have it. But maybe uh, Foy could have gone straight up to a Yeah, him. I was I was thinking. Like, oh. <laughs> Good <laughs> that, catch from Yasuo. The, the timing on that tech was would have been weird. Yes. So. Wow. Yeah, Sick. So far, so far doing pretty great. Yeah. But uh, Yasu <laughs> making this a little difficult. It's wow. funny. Oh no, no, yeah. please kill him. Okay, yeah. So. I always was... want to see good melee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I loved uh, Yasu's wave dash back into fair to cover the wall. It was like uh, extremely premeditated. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, lo I love how he knew he wasn't going to kill himself there, because I didn't. <laughs> Up B's like so far. Oh god. Yeah, Yasu playing around with all the extra he has. Oh my god. Yeah, and I'm not sure if Wig has given up on that. Was, <laughs> that was definitely the wrong thing to do. Yeah, dominant showing from uh, some top player Yasu. Foig did have a couple, uh, you know, uh, miscues off the stage there. Uh, yeah. See if he can clean those up in game two. <laughs> Do <Dude>, side. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Oh, the spirit of. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the spirit of dude side. Oh my god. So that, I'd say he's probably giving up at this, this point. This is extremely. I, yeah, I think he's definitely yeah. giving up. Does he up. just not want to? I guess he doesn't want to play it out. <laughs> Although, who knows? Dude side himself. Took a uh, game off Calvar with Ganon yeah. a few days ago. Last, <laughs> uh, last week, I commented. <laughs> Maybe he's uh, looking looking to join the wacky counterpick play. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you're nuts. Oh, great pivot from Yasu. Up till just controlling, uh, controlling the airspace directly around him, making a little bubble. You, you, you know, yep. Oh my God, that's great. You would say uh, Puff Dreamland, what a great counter pick if you actually played Dreamland. Puff. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, I don't know how much uh, work Yasu's put into this matchup, but you can imagine that, like, given where he is, uh, with like how well he's um, doing, he would be like trying to. Put in some work for his dude side, maybe like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, he actually at the at the ladder tournament two weeks ago, uh, he beat dude dude side like at least twice. I want to say three times. So 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 okay. Yeah. So Foig, uh, Foig, Foig uh, has, uh, he's got a body dude side and trying to lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! A phantom rest. A phantom rest. Goodbye. Goodbye. I thought he was gonna sir. hold it and like wait for the shield. That would have actually been a great kill too. <laughs> For, for Jinx, that would have actually, that actually sucks, but... Oh, no. Alright, alright. Yeah, this isn't bad. It's not horrible. Foy has some sick nares. But, one of those matchups where it's just like... The comeback potential... I mean, it's there, but it doesn't usually happen. Yeah. Like, well, we'll, we'll see. Foy's been calling out that double jump aerial 
like every single time. He's been getting good results off of the call out. Oh, uh, okay. I was looking for some back air up tilt. Yeah, like the, the fundamentals are there. You know, trying to hold center. Even the fundamentals if, are there. <laughs> even if you're the not. The character selection is yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Ambitious from Yasu. Uh, oh, yep, yep. Side great B. side B up tilt. Side B up tilt. See, Yasu, Yasu definitely, like, aware of what to do. With what? Wait, what happened? Was it a shield? So, so he, uh, Yasu shield drop fared. And it missed Foig, and he literally just rested after <laughs> it Really channeling Dudu's side with just going for like a rogue rest. Uh, Dudu was going for a lot, a lot of those last week. That's um, hilarious. This is this is super fun. I got Foig <laughs> wins this. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. shut up for the oh. rest of the time. Oh, but Great it's not temper. gonna happen. Yep, there it is. All right, that is three o. Foig out of the tournament, but. At fourth, pretty level. good showing. Pretty yeah. good showing. Great showing. I believe. So I believe he outplays Rhyme. Yeah, he definitely outplays like Rhyme. A few other good yeah. players. Um, but now we're gonna see losers finals. Calvar versus Yasu. If it goes to seeding, Calvar has this. But uh, I don't know, Yasu. Yes, is good, man. Yasu's he really good. is. Either of them could be getting to Grants to destroy his captain's mind. <laughs> Let's go. Let's uh, bring it home for New England. Rough. Rough. Do you know what would be a, a cool crew battle? Uh, New England versus England. That'd be a fun crew battle. Hey, that would not be close, but anyway. <laughs> Okay, um, let's go. Uncle well, if Cap you had everybody there, like, like what? You're starting with Crush versus Prof, and then getting worse from there. That's, like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, um... Oh. oh head bump. Oh, very... That was so smart to try and get back. To use the side beam momentum and actually almost made it. He was just too low. But he's he made the best possible attempt. Uh, it would be, man, some silly spot. I, fe I feel like definitely like Calvar could definitely challenge some top 100 players. It's just kind of rough sending in like top 50 player right away. Oh, you're talking like, about yeah, the yeah. Oh no, for for getting to Grants here. Oh, I see. Yeah. Because uh, we had winners finals, Calvar versus Smuggers. And even then, Calvar did pretty well. It's just like, and I think, I mean. I would guess Calvar's probably top 100 at this point. Like yeah, no, he's definitely low top 100. And he's uh, he's beat Smuckers at Apollo. He actually 3-0'd Smuckers recently at Apollo. Um, Ooh, that's probably well, that's probably some uh, that's more history than I know about them. It probably and then uh, got yeah, got some data on each other. Now. Yeah, I was talking about this with um, with Stus. I believe they're one and one in sets this year. They played at the game and. Uh, Smokers beat Calvar at the game at like 3-1, something like that, and then uh, Calvar 3-0 to Mint. So it's, it's back and forth. Um, and I definitely, Damn. I believe that Calvar uh, easily has the results to make the MIOM list this year. Uh, yeah, with, with the definitely. Genesis 5 performance and his performances at Apollo oh, in the yeah, game. Yeah, of course. Calvar, Calvar is definitely top one. It's just kind of rough to like to jump from like you know losers finals you got top player Yasu pretty like difficult in his own right and then you have to face like a top 50 so it's, it's kind of like I don't know it'd be it's not the kind of setup to afford him a lot of great wins unless well I know I don't know Smuckers he's so he's really beaten Smuckers yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's actually just great. Um, I see what you're saying, though. Um, have you... I, I, I feel like there's a phenomenon that happens in Melee where if you play someone who's better than you, you'll, like, play up to their level. Uh, because, I don't know. It's just something that I've experienced where, like, especially if uh, a higher-level player gives you respect in certain areas, like... You can't. Your game plan has a lot more space to breathe. Oh wait, wait. wait. Is this getting interesting? Is Calvar about to? Is Calvar about to arthritis this man? Oh my god. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, no. But uh, <laughs> I, I feel like this is great. Wait, wait, look. 
I feel like Calvar could, uh, could play up to, to Smucker's, you know, if he's going straight for the user stick around. <laughs> what did he down smash? Oh my god, he missed the tech chase that only he hit. Calvar. <laughs> <laughs> he almost did it. Okay, that does not spell well for game two for Gaston. No. It seems like Calvar figured something out right here. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you want an almond? Don't give me that. I, I gave him. I gave him a very funny. One. <laughs> All right, so FD. Good bait. Uh, double jump bait from Yasu. Oh yes, get the air dodge. He gets the dash attack too. So pretty, pretty good combos. Didn't quite follow up after the stall. Oh. Okay. We got ourselves a set. Yeah, we definitely have ourselves a set. If Yasu wins this, the world is back. This is, this is so fun. I love Melee in 2018. It's just everyone, I mean, you know, everyone's good. It's like, things don't in go In New England, seating. we've had a great, great time with players in Boone. Yeah. Um, I, I've been watching like some 20, I don't know, some 2015 New England, you know, some 2014 New England, and it's so different from, from where it is now. Oh. You know? Yeah, well, half of the top players. <laughs> <laughs> half of them are good. But we're getting some new ones. We're getting some new ones. We got Calvar not too long ago, who was not even power ranked in New England at all. Now, went to like the power rank 13th in New England. Next PR, he's fourth. Yeah, I just, I mean, like, the average skill level in New England just a few years ago, you know, oh, really? definitely not where it is now. Um, That's nice. Yeah. New England I haven't whole, been paying attention for that one. <laughs> well, but. what it was was, like, I was going back. So I'm a, I'm a sophomore at Tufts, and I uh, was going back and watching some of the old, like, TMG stuff, some of the old crew battles. And, like, I don't know, if you watch 2014... Uh, there's footage of like 2014 Bonfire, 2014 Zeta 2014 Guaye. Oh, and it's all just worse? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not like terrible, but uh, everyone's just gotten extremely good. Uh, beautiful to watch. And I'm, I'm just happy because usually when you see players get really good, you see them have like a quick improvement rise, and we're seeing that out of like a few different people now. Yeah. Which yeah. is very nice. Because sometimes you only see it out of, like, one person. Yes. Especially in regions with, like, smaller weeklies. There's just, like, oh. less people. Oh, shit. Okay. Oops. <laughs> for, for a guy, he's first. I'm not, I'm not good with that, but... Oh, he, he knew exactly where he was going to go with that thing. And he, he didn't quite get it. Okay. Wow, very clean from Calvar. I thought forward again too, and I think Yasu did too, but F Smash baby don't need a tipper. Forward grab. I don't know if he meant to jump. I don't know if he meant to I like the way it went down. He might have been trying to cover with an area. Just calls him out. They've got a lot of tech right now. Oh I can't tell if he pivoted, but he might have pivoted. Either way, immaculate space. It's a tipper. Fun. Okay. He was hoping. See, the funny. It's funny to see a Marth just like go for forward smash at zero, <laughs> but it does. It does create a knockdown, so it's actually not bad. Which is. It's really funny that that's a great option sometimes. And so you see Calvar just like gamble on his forward smash at zero. And you're like, why would you do that? And he's like, I was thinking of something. Okay, hoping for a dipper, did not get it. Little too slow. I think I think Calvar reacted there. I think he covered all, all three options, uh, unless the tech away is too far. But it looked like he covered it. Oh, edge cancel. Looking like Zane out here in the red. How's he gonna? Oh, okay. I like that crouch uh, under the platform to avoid the gap attack. <laughs> you grab like the first frame of the up. Yeah, okay. Led Jash is back on. It's 
it, it's very nice to get uh, to get to the point where you can ledge dash with enough spacing, well, with the right spacing for the tip every time. Because if you're Marth on the ledge dash, you go so you can go so far. It's hard to get, it's hard to get it to a small uh, yes to space it back to a very small window or not not a time window but a very very like close Ooh. spacing. Love that crouch cancel. Look at these. Yeah, he's like CCing the fair and then uh, punishing the grab. We, we saw a similar thing in uh, his smucker set where he like crouch canceled a weak back air and then slid and like grabbed. And, yeah, and CC grab definitely helps Mark a lot. Helps punched him very well. Okay, yep, simple edge guard there. Nose to roll up. Versus like a lot of characters uh, where like. Fox or Falco or something would do a regular get up. Marks often roll because they want that they want the F smash using. Whereas like Marth and Sheep getting up. Okay, yep, hack stashes. He know he knows Yas is down tilting waiting for him to come in, so hack stashes. He takes the opportunity. He gave up nothing. He gave up absolutely nothing. That was, that was nice. You've got to know what to challenge and what not to challenge. Absolutely. You can destroy someone, but you can't do it if you challenge the wrong moves. Yes. Um, you can be forced to avoid moves. You can be forced to, you know, weave around things and take your time. But you, but you can do it and still win. Yeah, I think that's uh, something that it's it's a marker of like somebody who's uh, who's improving and thinking about the game critically is when they're in. Oh, oh the, yep, down. Uh, when they're in like a defensive position, they don't immediately try to turn that into like a counter hit when it's not possible or when it's too obvious. That's something yeah. that uh, yeah, that's like the mark of, of somebody who's thinking about the game. Critically. Yeah, I really like how Calvar wasn't just stalling, but he was hack stacking. I like it. <laughs> the sickness. Hack stashing, I, I feel like it was too. He's been doing so great for him to get to yeah. like get more stage presence from the corner. Because usually that's a tough situation in Mar Marth Ditto, when uh, one Marth corner is another. But hack stashing definitely helps. And it's it's fantastic for edge guarding in this matchup too, because you don't have to worry about like the ambiguity of how long Marth floats after his OB when you when you can hack stash. Yo, yep, there. I like the walk. Hit him with he hit him with a force. Move. <laughs> the walk, the walk. It's funny. I th I feel like he didn't. Re well, he. I feel like even though he reacted, he sort of knew Yasu was gonna roll that way, leading up to it because of the walk. Oh man. And he gets the perfect. Oh, oh dead, dead. This is uh, looking very different from yeah, game one. Yeah, brutal, brutal. But he. He's kind of. Uh, it's funny because they both have the same range, but Calvar is kind of out facing him. Like you see, even even when he goes for like an F smash, it hits Tipper on shield and can't be punished. Like he's not giving him anything. Yep, wow. don't you don't need a Tipper there. That was, that was a funny read that so Calvar went for. Deep Tipper from Austin. Oh, okay. Yeah, last stock of the tournament for Yasu potentially. Probably. <laughs> okay. I think that counter would have been fine, but I think he mistimed it. Or dodges the top platform, and he, <laughs> and he lets him react to the fact that he's going to Tomahawk so he cannot do it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, this is not just gonna double jump. He's eager like for crazy. his uh, grand finals set to start. Oh, oh there yep, it is. there it is. Um, oh. If you don't press the R button, it's, <laughs> there it's not, I guess it's not. <laughs> yeah. But I, he's he's gone. He <laughs> went for the read. So I mean, oh, he messed it up. He had a down air. He wa he wanted to look cool with the. Oh, I know where he's How far is giving these stocks <laughs> the away? Up. Yeah, no, he's... I don't think it's impatience. I think it's uh, want to look cool. 
If he loses this game, that, okay. that would be so horrible. That would be yeah. such a lesson. No? Reed's tech in place or react wrong. Calvar does try to react Oh, react oh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Let's go on. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Victory Fuck from the jaws deserve. of defeat. I love it. I'm sorry. I think Calvar deserved that one. I, uh, I he tried to style a little. I, I feel like, you know what? Up to three stocks high percent. I feel like maybe you style until you lose that you know high percent stock. But and I don't think you, you keep yeah. doing it for the whole <laughs> next two. I, my man, Art, is not to be messed with. No. Especially, this is definitely a matchup in which the punch game is pretty rough, so when you're risking it, Ooh. you're risking so much. That drift from Calvar is like uh, something that separates like some lower level Marth players from higher level Marth players. He up aired Yasu and he drifted onto the top platform so like he could continue even if it wasn't even if he wasn't gonna get another hit, he could continue like the positional pressure. Um, as Marth, knowing how to drift with your up airs in a way that you're landing on platforms so that you can like continue your combo is like so pivotal. Okay, and, uh, while air. I'm talking, Calvar cleans it up. Calvar cleans up another one. I don't know why he went for that. Maybe for uh, some some high level Marth play, going for Force Smash on Dreamland platforms. <laughs> Only ever works like one in a million times. But, uh, goes for it. God. You see good stuff, and you see some not so good. Yeah. That's okay, true. yep. A bit, a bit lazy, just tries to get up for air. Calvar, like, simply, like, wave dash back, forward smashes. Yeah, he, he's got tech that on top. Yep, yeah, the tech chase, short hops to react wow. to tech in place with forward air. Look at that, uh, the, the crouch cancel on that dash attack. He's com He has complete control of the stage. Well, now he doesn't, but he did. <laughs> yeah. No, I see what you mean. He's, he's getting a lot of center control. He's, He's, ma he's making it look like he's got longer range in a mark than it. Okay, Norton air backwards. So he's using that air backwards a lot. And see, now he's mixing up the hack sash. He mixed it up with like a double jump bait. Um, so there's, it, op it opens up. Oh, okay, no. yep. It opens the, 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 ha the hack sash opens up a whole series of options uh, for edge guard. Not just the physical hack sash itself. Okay. Oh, okay. I think there was probably time there for Yasu to do something, unless he was getting pushed off. Okay. He's reacting, and he gets hit that time. Yep. Yeah, he messed up one time. Oh, no. That's not the, that's not the DI. Good set. Well, that's, that went to game five. That is... Very, very, that's a great place. Oh, yeah. yeah, fantastic clutch uh, on game four by Yasu. And that's, from Foy and Yasu, that, that's some great challenge. That, they've been challenging, you know, people who are considered, you know, well above them. They're game five on Calvar, both of them, that's, that's real nice. Although Calvar did win yeah. game four. <laughs> I love how he's like stone faced trying to do silly stuff. <laughs> it's not even like. Like. There's the. Everybody knows of like none who will do like sick, amazing stuff while uh, stone faced, but. The fact that he's doing like just silly and practical stuff while stone faced just strikes me as kind of funny. But uh, now, oh my god, look at. I didn't know Captain Smuckers changed his look so much. <laughs> okay, got a nice there we beard. go. Oh wow. Now Calvar looks quite different as well. Yeah. <laughs> just change just changing the text. But um Oh, if super I smash it, fishers. I like that shirt. That's yeah. a great shirt. It's a cool shirt. <laughs> that was a great shirt. Alright. 
getting right into grand finals. Yeah. Down throw jab reset. These yep. tournaments can go quite late, so. Yeah, no, the venue We're not wasting now. any time. Okay, forward air, forward yep. smash. Barely. Not what he meant, but not horrible. He probably did not mean, almost certainly did not mean to up smash his Marth, but it actually didn't, didn't put him in too bad of a situation. Uh, I don't know, I feel like he was a bit late on getting back there. Uh, yeah, delayed reactions, and hits him with the top of the forward of the Raptor Beast. I don't know, Smucker's barely getting out from a lot of different things. And I feel like earlier Kalmar was a lot more on top of it. I have I have faith. I have faith that he's gonna pick it up. Okay. This wow. Yeah, you can't S D I over there. Up throw. Ooh, up throw yeah. yeah, the kind of thing you can't. You can't be letting a Falcon lift to 180%. Yeah. I mean, because while it can happen. Okay. While it can happen with just like Marth, if you don't close it out, you can eat a lot. You can. Especially with a guaranteed kill confirms Falcon has. Man, it's rough to let him. Smuckers' is slide offs have been. Unreal. He's, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome to the top 50 players. Seriously. <laughs> but Calvar keeping up. Uh, yeah, the Nair, the Nair was good, even though it was low percent. But he didn't land fast enough to follow up on it. Okay. Stomp D. Stomp D. Very, very simple. Stalls for a long time. Very high up, for, and it worked uh, out. First up here. Yeah, that would make a lot more sense. Okay. <laughs> oh, did you see how the uh, winner's final set ended? Oh, I can't wait. Oh, man. Smuckers hit him with... Uh, so Smuckers hit Calvar with up throw. Uh, oh, with the up smash. reverse. Yeah, the reverse. Perfect land up smash on the top platform. I was yeah, at a loss for words. That was very fun. Yeah. I'm sure that'll get clipped. I was, I was looking over and just rooting, rooting for Calvar. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. It was, un it was unfortunate. Okay. It's going to be interesting. Oh, see, he tries to go for the crouch cancel tech chase that a lot of Falcons lately, like, yep, there it is. mainly Wizrobe is known for, but he's a little late dashing forward. Up throw knee, and <laughs> yeah, Galvar looks like he thought that was a bit funky. <laughs> I don't, I don't think he expected that knee to reverse. Goes straight to Yoshi. Okay, so let's see, let's see what we can do here. Okay, that's okay. Dare grab. Yeah, you can SDI the first hit in there. Apparently. Oh no, definitely. <laughs> no, I just. You know, oh. I don't see it often. <laughs> Can't without a double jump, man. Counter? Ooh, down tilt. Good option there, but it didn't yes. cover quite low enough. I love that waveland grab, because it, like, completely, the, uh, the slide-off can't even happen. You know? Yeah, that, man, Smuck, uh, Smucker's punish game is great. You see, good Falcons have all the up air chains on lock. Yeah, I'm loving these wavelength grabs from Calvar. Down air. Yep, yep. Calvar, mm. Pat, Mart, Deck Chase. Yeah. I, I was expecting a forward smash, but it, it looks like it's cleaning up just fine. That was way too early. That, I that was so way too Okay, he only took 20 for it. No, that's fine. That's fine. Not great for missing out on some crowd canceled percent, but... He clearly messed up. Sick jab. Oh my god. Yeah, it's kind of hard to cover when people... I, I, I think as Marth versus Falcon, I mean, Calvar expects him by now to fade oh. low instead of double jumping right back. It's hard, it's hard to cover that when you're that close to ledge. Uh, but you can't let him do that on the ledge. You can let him get back to ledge sometimes, because you have to, but you can't let him up air knee right off of it. 
mistake that he might pay for. Oh yeah, Smoker's got a lot of momentum. He almost well, messed up, messed up the too. combo twice. But These Nair SDIs are blowing my mind. No, that's it's actually more common than you quite than you might think. Uh huh. I guess I just need to get farther in bracket. Do so. you know uh, Snow Wiener? Uh, I haven't met him. I've only oh, you've heard only heard of him. I know that he invented the combination. That's He's fine. another uh, player, another Falcon, actually, who SDI's uh, Mark Snare a lot. Is he uh, New Hampshire? Yeah, he's New Hampshire, too. Gotcha. Wait, is he? I don't oh know. Oh, my I God. No, he isn't. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I see him at my mom more than I see him at, like, I mean, I've never seen him at this. He's not New Hampshire. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Ooh. Very slick wave went back. What the, the, the recovery? <laughs> okay. Crazy. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. See, this is a really Smucker's thing to do is like multiple yeah. ball jumps. Okay, okay, nice. The thing, the thing I don't get about what Calvar is, you know, you, you know, you see the Falcon kick, you see Smucker's is clearly like a good distance away before they're going to interact on the edge guard and recovery. And Calvar is like doing some stuff going up to the platform and is like and ends up, you know, not being near him for the edge guard when it actually gets to the point where he's close enough. And I'm like wondering what Calvar is thinking of doing. Taking a page out of Nun's book there with the single hit of here in the ground. Although you see Johnny go first. Uh, probably had the finger slip on uh, the A button instead of the B button trying to up you and up air. That's oh what I'm guessing. Insane spacing uh, from Smuckers. It's spacing right outside that floor. Okay, okay, yeah. nice. <laughs> Wispy makes the up throw, <laughs> you know, guaranteed to go onto the platform. That's so funny. He probably pummeled seeing himself slide to the right. Very smart. Okay, yep. Yeah, uh, Smucker's doing a great job of kind of weaving around the, the full hop fair range from Calvar, whether he's doing it with double jumps or he's sort of dashing away and then coming in with full momentum. Uh, it's all very sneaky. Yeah, gotta be slippery as Falcon. Yes. Because, uh, not necessarily because it's like easy to get out of things as Falcon, it's not. But the, the amount uh, you can net off of it is really, really nice. Wow. I applaud Smuckers for going for that knee. Okay. <laughs> nice air dodge. The Couldn't limit. quite get the strong hit. Ooh, I like the tipper four nice. to up air. Ooh, Ooh I was... Ooh, okay, okay. Ow. I was thinking another up air instead of the last four. Yeah. I don't think it would have led to one after. So... Okay, I guess actually it seemed like a risk at the time, but seeing his percent, maybe not. Alright. Quarter. Good down tilt. Down tilt. Yep. And you, you see that down tilt, that's a reaction, man. One of the, I think one of the things that really defines Calvar as a player is how much he's willing to like forward throw and like down throw, back throw, Absolutely. get tech chases rather than up throwing. He's a reaction tech chaser, he moves which is, it works really well for him. Yeah, um, it, it's something that I definitely don't see from anyone besides Calvar. Um, and, uh, uh, it's kind of refre it, it's refreshing in a way because it, I mean, it, it's extremely effective. Yeah, I mean, standard like common consensus is that up throw is more optimal most of the time. Well, not against Falcon, definitely not against Falcon, but, but against, like, spaces, for against most like most every character. Like common consensus is that up throw as Marth is more op optimal, but Calvar will definitely go for like uh, tech chase throws. Uh, more than just about any other mark on the planet. Yeah, um, he was doing, I mean, you know, you watch his set versus Shiz at Genesis 5. Um, even, you know, even on the big stage in Top 64, he's extremely consistent uh, with those tech chases. And what's really nice is when you get to a matchup where tech chase throws are actually optimal, like this one, he's got the experience. That's true, that's true. So, wow, good upbeat. I, I like mean, Calvar. Calvar did like a little mid down from the ledge just to grab the very end of the stage. 
Uh, oh, like no, up tilt there? Spacing. I don't know. Got a little bit stuck. <laughs> that, that was a funny spot. Okay, nice. yep, four there standing. twice. All the way through. Oh, the weave, the weave. Oh, okay, that was a weird coverage, but good coverage. Okay. When you'd normally have a knockdown off of just like a normal move on stage, he's doing slide off not only on the platforms, but Captain Smuckers is sliding off the stage completely. Which is real. It's oh, actually yeah. working out quite well. Which is oh. very scary to stop him, though. The, uh, the non back air. Okay. Up there. Ooh. He almost had that. That would have been a great pickup. Hack stash is love and that. Reads the hack dash. Hack That's stash. true. Great counterplay for Calvin. Yep. Okay. There. Not Good quite. shield drop. Okay. I like the upbeat. Yep. Up doesn't get you much, but it doesn't you lose you than, anything. Yeah. <laughs> gets you less than nothing. Gets or wait, not than less than nothing. It gets you more than nothing. Yeah, it gets you more than anything else. <laughs> yes. Oh, I don't... I don't know. Love the there there was a bit weird. Oh! Okay. Yeah, we're... Yeah, the Calvar, you can see how much Keeping trouble it he's close. having. Uh, yes. Oh, man. Percent. Or just you would think, killing before high percent. You would think that's such an opportunity, but at low percent, like, it's not leading to a real edge guard. He's jump, jumping back to ledge. Great crouch cancel down tilt from Smokers to take that stock. Okay. Ooh. Oh. I'm not sure if he realized he was late on the reaction, but he definitely was very ready for the roll. <laughs> tries to cover with rapid movement. The weave. Insane he almost weave. got back. He almost got back too. Okay, let's go, Calvar. Smuckers, Smuckers' is skill with the uppy is is just like. Okay. Okay. Yes. yes. Can we yes. get some more melee people? Oh, okay. Adapting to that. Hoping to cover on. many options with an air. But... Oh, uh, this is looking. Oh, gets out of it. I love that drift. Yep. Okay, we're gonna get an up throw. Ooh. Gets the jump with a dare. Oh, what? again the slide up. Yeah, it's and that's an up throw knee. That's the tournament set. All yeah, right. Good stuff to Smuckers. Good stuff to Smuckers. Coming out of region and whooping us. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's okay. We'll get him next time. One seed for a reason, though. Yes. Calvar. Uh, he. He he knows he can definitely he knows he can definitely make a lot of progress there. Mm -hmm. He's done it before. He's beat him before. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he was definitely probably hoping to beat Smuckers, but yeah. we're all still impressed. We're so impressed with him. Well, um, this has been a fantastic commentary block. I appreciate you hopping on commentary with me. Man. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm humbled by the opportunity to commentate <laughs> New Game Plus Ultra. 38. My terrible first time commentary. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, this has been NGP 38. Uh, I'm Zia. 38, 39? Oh, is it 39? Excuse me. <laughs> NGP 39 in Alston, Massachusetts. Uh, my name is Evan Zygmunt. You can follow me on Twitter at uh, Zia Zygmunt. That's Z I A Z I G M O N D. Uh, for all your Boston area uh, melee content. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm, I'm giving Zia the look. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to plug, but uh, I don't know. Tune in to New Game Plus Ultra 40 to see Calvar whoop everyone. <laughs> and uh, even if Smuckers comes, I'm sure I'll have a nice set. Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I'm actually really surprised to see Smuckers here from out of region. That's actually really cool that he came out. Yeah, I guess it was just for Anyways, see you guys.